My objective is to go from bronze all the way to masters with less than 100 APM. And 100 APM, 100 actions per minute might seem excessive for bronze, and I would agree. Which is why we're starting at bronze with less than 40. So approximately one action every one point... I, we're not going to do math on the stream, but... The objective is to stay under 40 APM, and that, that can be difficult. Uh, but the, the intent and the focus is to show it's not so much about the quantity of actions, but about the quality. Uh, building more shit than your opponent is a reliable strategy for winning the game. Uh, micro is not even something that should enter your, your hemisphere until higher up in the Metal Leagues. And it, it's been a little while since I did something like this. Uh, so I want to I wanna see what the lower leagues are looking like. I get a lot of people complaining like, Well, I try to do your builds, but I just get cheesed every game. Now, in the Silver League, I would argue that two battle cruisers at the 15-minute mark is not a cheese. But who knows? If I can't pull it off, now there are punishments besides, Oh darn, didn't quite do it. For every five actions per minute, 5 a.p.m. at the end of the game, I go over, I'll be gifting a subscription uh, on Twitch to my channel. So, a little self-interested there, but it does literally cost me. So, hopefully. Uh, and, and for every 5 a.p.m. over, by the way, extra punishment. For every 5 a.p.m. over, that's one more sub. So, 45, that's one. 50, that's two, and so on and so forth. Um... I guess, I guess we'll make exceptions and all that for, like, well, that guy was obviously stream sniping and smurfing and all of that. And, and I don't like beating up on Bronze Leaguers for the sake of beating up on Bronze Leaguers. But, um, if, if I can help at least two Bronze Leaguers or Silver Leaguers or Gold or Plat or whatever be motivated to play two more games, well, then, uh, we've come out ahead. And maybe, maybe even get further. And, and when you feel like you're improving, you feel more motivated. I'll be looking at SC2 replay stats. By the way, I'm going to play a game, make sure that's set up. Uh, and then we'll be breaking it down. I'll try to summarize the game afterwards. I mean, I might lose. I'm going to try to stick to the lower APM style. I'm not going to go out of my way. Uh, and it will be difficult for me. And, and once again, it's average actions per minute. Oh, Average. You are not you Astro Hunter. Service. Not, not. Will sometimes you? I will definitely, and anyone who builds a dozen Zerglings will go over 25 APM in that moment. Uh, or maybe even that minute. But average. Okay. So don't get on me about all that. Uh oh. We're starting in silver, but we're still aiming. I should be starting in bronze. One way or another, you got this. Oh my god, shut up. Who put that guy here? Get an overlord. One more drone. And Zerg is the hardest. So, chat. Chat does not count towards your APM. Very important. So. What race is he? By the way, this button exists in the you top right. Protoss. I get three more drones here. And then, if you want to look pro, you send the drone down at 200 minerals. It'll get down the ramp at 300 minerals. That. How you doing, Mr. Pro? A little suspicious that you're hanging out. Usually, I want to have that second overlord right down on the low ground because that's that's the check for oh my god and adjusting settings means I didn't start my spawning pool well so I will be playing random as well I could do each race individually but that's a whole lot of time so we're gonna be focusing on random when I get to platinum I will start telling my race I think you'll I think Based on my experience and based on my knowledge, you don't really need a different build in each matchup. Bronze, silver, gold. You have one solid build, or maybe two. It'll work in every matchup. No matter you're like, well, well, 
yeah, you need to wall off maybe against Zerg, stuff like that as Protoss, but you not knowing their race should not have a dramatic effect on your build uh, unless you're doing something you don't need to be doing, essentially, uh, as those races. Gonna get six Zerglings, rally across, and I, I think this will be a trend for the series is no more than six Zerglings and without speed, just in general. I have first Overlord. Uh, it's a little suspicious he hasn't done anything, so I'll send it in. Zealots. Okay. Queen's all done. Good choice. Since he doesn't have an expansion, I'm gonna get two spine crawlers. I'm gonna set up those camera locations. Control F2, control F3. He has gateways. Just bring it back. Build some drones. And now I'm gonna get two gases and a roach warren. He's got a forge, which rounds out all the Bronze League heroes' buildings. I'm gonna put my overlord back on this pervert pillar. Well, unfortunately, that's not happening. You must construct spawn more overlords. Get those overlords. So now my objective is gonna become get a bunch of roaches with uh, plus one in speed. That's my objective. Because I saw in his base. There's nothing that can really scare me here. There's no Stargate. There's no robotics facility. You engage I'm going to get a little bit of creep. creep. Get some more queens. I like hot keying my queens together. Serral actually has all his queens, including the ones that are, like, uh, injecting on a hot key. He builds himself a select all queens hot key, which... Comes in handy whenever, like, like they throw a warp prism at you, something like that. Gonna start a lair. Oh, I usually hot key the lair to F. Uh, I find it a little easier. I do this for Terran as well, lifting off. And hopefully, if you're if you're like a Terran or a Protoss player and you've made it this far, but you're like, I'm gonna skip to a Terran or Protoss game. Well, at some point, I think that's fine. I think it is super important. I think a lot of people get frustrated because they just don't understand the other races. They're like, well, these... And that leads you to think, well, these units are just so good. How am I supposed to beat them? Like, zealots are so good. How am I supposed to beat them? So if you don't really watch the other races and see both the kind of effort they put in and, uh, what, how they lose or things like that, then you don't really have that much perspective. Once again, it's not the end of the world if you only play one race, of course, but... Uh, and... Inevitably, when likely this ends up on YouTube, I'm gonna get to 40... Okay, I'm gonna look at the supply. Uh, there will be timestamps. Either myself or some much industrious person who doesn't get so annoyed by the sound of their own voice, and I realize I'm hypocritical using the winter announcer pack. Um... But we'll, we'll timestamp it. So we're going to aim for 44 drones, which is full saturation on two bases. You got 16 on minerals. You got three on each gas. Now, you can go up to 24. I've, I've, the proposition that I like the most is, okay, I got 1,000 minerals, and I'm not spending my larva. Another hatch. You might, well, I could inject now. And by the way, um, what was I saying? First thing. So you can go up to 24 uh, workers on eight mineral patches. Essentially, two workers mine a mineral patch perfectly efficiently. Uh, two workers, they go back and forth, trade no. Third worker does add uh, to the mineral patches, especially the ones further away. But it has some downtime. Like, it's waiting to get in there and get in on the action, is the summary. So you can actually go up to 24 on eight mineral patches because that's I'll three on each patch for now, so right? instead of it turning red at 17 through 24 i wish blizzard would change it to turn yellow like yeah, maybe want to think about expanding somewhere and i might maybe want to think about expanding somewhere but uh i think that would be a lot more helpful for new players and in fact i probably should have started this off with some sort of like 
Well, I have guides on what settings to have. Obviously, being able to select enemy units, stuff like that. Uh, maybe that's like a like a appendix type of situation. But what happens when I do series and stuff like this? I always have a tendency to overdo it and be like, "Well, I'm gonna have all of these things." So I put my select all army hotkey, which I'm gonna use here to hotkey all my units on the tilde key, which is um. Mineral field has been depleted. Up here. And I've found that to be pretty You're easy to hit. Out of that mineral field. Gonna get the plus two attack. Inject. Hotkey and another hatchery. And... Oh, I wanna fight. Okay. We're gonna take... So I'm, I'm playing... I think I'm definitely over 40 APM. I might have to adjust it to 50. Um, cause Zerg, so Zerg just naturally has slightly higher APM. Don't go talking to your Zerg friends saying, see, I knew it, it takes slain. less skill. No, because think about it. Uh, in order to build a Zerg unit, you have to select the hatchery, step one, select the larva, step two, and then you build units. And Zerg has a tendency to build more units. They just do. I'm gonna get a Hydralis down here. I probably should have gotten Spore Crawlers a while ago. Uh, the general rule is if you don't know what they're doing, is around four minutes, you want to get some spores. But I knew what he was doing. He was doing gateways and gateway units. So, what we got out here? Got a cannon. So, we're just going to ignore that. Completed. And shift. Okay, I'm going to eight-click on the mini-map. And then shift, eight-click to the main. And now we'll worry about our problems on the domestic front. So the G key is how you rearrange your drone key. Mind out of that cluster. And still in I'm going to get Hydralis nice. with range. Like, I'm really going to try because obviously I could try to metagame the low APM and be like, well, I think I'm going to win the game, so don't do anything. I'm going to try to avoid some of that, but it is kind of necessary for all of this. The swarm is um, but yeah, for Zerg, they just naturally have slightly higher, not a huge amount, but like slightly higher actions per minute. Um, Lurkers might be an option after this. Uh, Roach Hydra, it might be the unenthusiastic hand job of, of unit compositions. And, and you might be like, well, that's my life. I mean, it's not everyone's first choice. Uh, it's not exciting, Brood under but attack. Panic time. it gets the job done. So, Mutation uh, Roach Hydra, yeah. it's hard to mess up because the Your standards brood. are already so low. Well. They're just More good general yeah. units. Right. Let's go back and see what happened on the other side. But based on, so why don't, that's a legitimate question. I'm actually going to try, I've been over years of Angry Coach. Looks like we got SC2 replay stats working out. Those hero units from the chat, if you subscribe, you could become a hero unit in my or my opponent's army, which is a little odd, but <laughs> who is my enemy? Um, so how did I, well, why did I suspect he didn't have a bunch of bases on the map? Well, it was a possibility. He built a bunch of units early, like like he didn't expand early, and he was building a lot of units. And he attacked me with a solid chunk of units. That means he didn't have the money to expand, more than likely at the same time. But if I had gotten into his main and I was there for a minute and he hadn't left the game yet, and this is the reason why higher level players GG and get out of the game immediately instead of GG and play for eight more minutes, it's because as soon as uh, you don't you GG and don't leave the game, or you're losing your base and you don't leave the game. We're thinking, oh, so where are the DTs? Where are the Dark Templar? Uh, we're not thinking, oh, how, where do I find my polite response? Um, but, so, he did that early push. I saw he didn't have an expand, which means no more than 30 drones until I figure out if he's expanded. And then, after that, uh... I'm going up to 40 to 50 drones and plus one roaches with speed. The plus one is important. So the difference between attack and armor upgrades are one attack upgrades are a little a little cheaper. 100 100 versus 150 150. And attack upgrades scale. What this means is they apply more damage to a unit if it depending on the speed of the attack and the damage of the attack. Like for the roach, 
Honestly, I couldn't tell you what the Roach base damage is, but it gets more than plus one attack from that plus one attack upgrade, as in it does more than one more damage. Whereas the Carapace or the Armor upgrade always only reduces one damage. So for units like Roaches, where you're just trying to get as much damage from the units that are hitting, um, usually you prioritize those attack upgrades over the Carapace upgrades. Um, smaller damage units like Zerglings and Marines only get plus one, but things like Siege Tanks and Liberators get like plus five or more. So. All right. Disaster! <sighs> 50. We're two over. But, you know what? I, I want this to be something that isn't just a gimmick. Um, and I think people learn from. And despite, for me, it's like, I don't know. Are people actually learning from this? I... I will give out the subs for this one, but I'm going to adjust it to 50 because even at this level, I think anyone can achieve 50 actions per minute. I've seen, okay, so uh, I don't know if he's here, but look no hands if uh, you've seen him in the chat at some point. He's off, I think he's a lawyer now or something, but he's a, a quad amputee. He doesn't have arms or legs, uh, and he got to platinum with Terran with like 100 APM, so come on. I mean, I... Uh, he, using what's left of his arms. Uh, so no fingers. Uh, so I'm not saying if you're not platinum, you're disabled in some way. No. He worked really hard for that. You are now in my he worked service. really hard. Um, and what I'm trying to say is most people can probably work less hard and still make it that far if they apply themselves effectively uh that's what i mean it's not like oh boom platinum it's not how it works but we're gonna give to the chat answer a couple questions uh i'm i'm adjusting it so here's what it's gonna be um more reasonably 50 50 as a baseline in in bronze and then 60 in silver 70 in gold 80 in platinum and then 100 in diamond because diamond is well diamond 3 has the same mmr range of the entire platinum league diamond and silver are the largest leagues in the game but uh silver it doesn't have nearly the exponential range of skill that is needed um, for diamond. And there is a big difference between a diamond three and a diamond uh, one player. Whereas the difference between a silver three and a silver one player is who is more intoxicated. I... <clears throat> so let's, you know what? In on, in Because I changed the rules, we're gonna gift 10 to the chat. And yes, you might be like, Winter, does this cost you money? Yes, it does. But I get a discount because I also get a, a percentage of it back. For those of you worrying if uh, I'm going to be switching to Warcraft Reforged, well, don't worry. I would be very oh, worried. Thank you, you to the lucky service. people who got that. I don't know. Like, it's a reflex, okay? So, I'm already feeling like I'm going to take a little time oh, here. You um, are now in my service. Um, oh, but I always feel, I know there's service. stuff people like to see, like the, the less than, in this, if this is on YouTube, uh, the less than 100 APM to Masters I did before, very, oh, very successful. I think it helped a lot of people. Service. It was a lot of fun, but it's just so hard because I always feel like I got to do better than the last thing I did. Um, and oh, that makes it kind of intimidating in my to myself to start. Whereas, to be honest... If I did slightly worse, it would probably still do better oh, because I've been getting a lot service. better at clickbaiting on YouTube. So, as for Twitch, welcome back. I don't know. Uh, 
Angry, I gotta break the oh, angry coach. You are Thank you, Maddox, for 13 service. months. Hypno Toes for 12 months. And now complain about uh, the sub animation not going away and distracting you. Uh, oh, I will take one question from the chat, like one surface. good question about the game or generally about StarCraft after every game, and then we'll jump into the next one. Oh, you are now for 15 surface. months. Yes, I think I did get over 50 APM with oven mitts. Are void rays the answer? Oh, Rarely. You are void rays are surface. the units that people make when they don't know what unit to make. Uh, void rays, like, they feel like the answer sometimes, mostly because oh, up until the higher metal surface. leagues, and to be clear, I'm going to use that term a lot because they can all be grouped together. Metals, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, oh, all metals, the metal leagues. Diamond is graduating slightly from the metal leagues into, because diamond is like a crystal. So, but it's only oh, the one league, so. You are now in my service. The answer to what I was doing was immortals and archons. And the answer to almost everything that I do or um, need to respond to for Protoss will be immortals and archons. Oh, here we go again. And let's see if I get the chance to demonstrate that here. So I like to set up camera locations. I have a short camera hotkeys guide, but I have them on control F2. I have on my mouse button the drag scroll there, so I can just move them to the bases. And yes, already, I'm planning on taking a third base. I like to have a builder probe. I usually shift who this is, but for the purposes of what I'm doing now, I like to hotkey that probe on two. Um, I put my scouting probe on three, my builder probe on two, and then whatever units I have early game is Protoss on one. Because you can contract out like one probe can get it done here. So, congratulations, you got promoted. Go scout the enemy. Uh, I'm gonna put a major focus on not over scouting. Because what I see, one of the biggest mistakes. Remember, all this is from. A combination of Angry Coach and Bronze League Heroes, and there's definitely some overlap between the two. But, um, what I see a lot is players, there are two options. One, they don't scout, or they do scout and they don't do anything different. Like, they, they're like, well, I scouted, I checked off that box, um, and that's it. That's the end of it. And then there's two, like, I scouted and I don't know what to expect, but now I'm panicking. You know which one you are, my Silver League friends. Uh, so we gotta get a forge and cannons. So he walled off. Okay. I'm gonna get the cyber core first here. We're going for very, obviously very safe, um, stable builds. I'm gonna poke up all the way. Is there anything left to see? So I'm gonna hide this probe back here. Okay, and now the focus, build probes, but wait, also, second pylon, third pylon, I'm really embracing the silver league right now, I'm hoping we place into bronze, I'm assuming we're placing into bronze, but I'm not 100%, so, my first unit will be an adept, not a stalker, an adept is much better against pretty much everything Terran's gonna do early, against Protoss, I'd probably build a stalker, but, uh, against Terran, whether he has Marines or a Reaper. Adept, pretty good at killing it. Now, the most important thing uh, for Protoss early on. Wait, like, oh, hello, Mr. Reaper. Don't panic. All right, I know it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just let it go. Don't panic. I'm gonna build a stalker now. I built a robotics first, but the most important thing is getting that tech up. A lot of Protoss players get so distracted by, say, a Reaper, um, that they are uh, they panic and now like, ah, uh, Forge. You don't want to do that. So when Warp Gate is halfway done, I'm gonna add two more gateways on in the main. I'm going to use this probe, we're going to shift click into the base, if it dies, it dies. I'm going to hotkey my robo because I use just the default warp gate hotkey. 
for warping in units. We'll click here. That's a barracks. So, a lot of barracks units. You know, it's pretty good. Probes. Shut you up. can't build cannons without them. Hey, this guy. This is all just a long-winded advertisement for my announcer pack. Which is a long-winded advertisement for me. Your research and is the complete. circle jerk goes round. I'm going to build two observers. So this observer, I'm going to go put right in front of his base. And then I'm going to siege it up when I get there, more than likely. And in put it in the surveillance mode, which keeps it from getting hit. We both know you're going to use the select all army hotkey. You're going to get one sentry. You know what? I don't know. Do I want to add sentries in at this level? Not really. But guardian shield is super important to know about. I have a lot of Chrono Boost on my next eye here. I'm just gonna slam it all into the Robo. He's just gonna build me Colossi pylons. when I get on Supply Blocks. Alright, one, two pylons. So, points for pylons. First, you wanna have Super Pylons. Super Pylons are when you have a pylon that is in power range of a Nexus or a Warp Gate. Not a Gateway, a Warp Gate. So, this is a Super Pylon. That, you can see over here, this isn't a super pylon. Super pylons warp in three times as fast. This observer was supposed to go outside my base and see jump. So, if he ever gets turrets, then we'll have to worry about that. But I'm going to go up to five or so stalkers, but I really should be switching up here. Slam that chrono win. And, uh... Hey, girl. Are you a Robo Bay? Because you make my Thermal Lance extend. Get that plus two range on the Colossi so you can stay at arm's reach. We're going to take a third here because I have Colossi now. Usually a good time to take your third, a safe time, is when you, your tech comes online, your first level of tech. So my first level of tech is Colossi, Robo Bay. That's the big one. It's a colossal one, almost as big as Gabe. But now that I'm getting that, I'm going to get a Twilight Council, a Forge, and where am I at? 50 probes? 50 probes. We see, look at the supply. I'm going to go up to eight gateways here. One, two, three, four, five. Add it on to three. Eight gates. Mineral field depleted. Gonna. Where did he go? I was busy counting. His units are gone. Oh, hello, Mr. Reaper. Okay, plus one attack, and I'm going to get the charge upgrade. I'm going to get a Templar Archives. And a great, like you're wondering, where do I put my Chrono? What do I invest in? A great choice is almost always upgrades. Uh, really going to focus on those. That is one of the biggest things I see for the Metal Leagues, especially the lower Metal Leagues, is a lack of upgrades. Upgrades are very good. Uh, I would say when you... Ooh, there's some units. I'm gonna step the Colossi back over here. I control click the Colossi for my selection group to select only that type of unit. Keep building probes. When this is happening, you gotta think, like, that's not gonna end the game, right? Like, this doesn't end the game. Two, meta, two medevac drops of marines are not going to win the game. They just aren't. So, we focus on what happens after. And that means getting things... Control click the stalkers. I'm going to click on his units. He has plus one upgrades, so that's pretty good. Control click and shift click are things you should get the hang of. Control click selects all of a type of unit wherever you're selecting it. For example... 
Uh, well, I use that a lot to select groups of Research units, like finished. control click. I got all my stalkers. So that way, not my entire army is chasing those crazy medevacs down. We're going to get some Templars. And at this stage of the game, so I've got 60 more plus probes. Pylons, more power to well, first, okay, build a bunch more pylons. I'm going to move this to this position. Your upgrade We're going to get Archons here. Going to get plus two attack. Chrono boost that. And I'm going to get a couple cannons on each base Pylons to defend against drops. So one cannon, two cannon, shield battery. But only now that I have over 60 probes. There's no reason, because like, I'm not going to move out. There's no reason I need to invest in cannons until I'm Can't thinking about there. moving out We've on the map. Over this. So. He keeps scanning. I'm going to get another robotics. I'm going to get two more robotics facilities. This is actually something I've been doing. This is not like, well, no, 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 no. I've been doing this in, on a good day, Grandmaster. I'm just super bad personally about building robotics space. So I mean uh, robos in general, so I'm going for three of them. Eh, let's get another base. Nothing here. Chrono boost. I'm actually just going to select all army. At this stage, yes. You just got to be careful. Like, if you have units at watchtowers, they get deselected like I did over there. He keeps scanning me. Notice, here's very important. Don't panic. Do not panic. I noticed on the minimap. So, part of, part of what allows me to do this. Actually, I'd say... One of the biggest factors that allows me to do this and play at this level, well, it's more like it's going to show up a lot more in Platinum and Diamond. But I just look at the minimap. Um, I see the minimap. Like, and honestly, I don't really have any tips for you on that. Like, just remember it exists. Upgrade completed. I just, over thousands of games you kind of train, you're always staring at that bottom left corner. When the eye tracker, so uh, I have an eye tracker. I don't have it on now because about 20% of people just not huge fans of it at all. Maybe I'll do a few segments with that. But uh, it, it, there was software, which unfortunately is outdated now, which tracked what part of the screen I would look at on average um, and for how much of the game. The minimap was 15% of the game, which means if a game was 10 minutes long, then I was a minute and a half on the minimap. Like, you're not even looking at it, but you're looking at it is uh, the relevant part of that. Love the. I'll do some with the eye tracker. Uh, unfortunately, the stats that like correlate directly to the game aren't supported anymore, but. That is a fun part. So I'm maxed out. What does he have? He has 1-1. One, one. Okay. Shift A click. You know what? We're going to make sure everybody's together first. So before all this, I'm going to get any other upgrades I want to get. If I was attacking for some other reason earlier, then I would definitely be focusing on this. But I'm maxed out, so there's not too much else to do. Okay, control one. He has battle cruisers. Okay. I might need, well, good thing I'm adding stargates. And you might be like, what else do you add? Well, stargates are the answer. Um, stargates are what get you uh, a click to the base. They get you most of the things you need. Okay. He works his battle cruisers into my base. going well but his battle cruisers have zero zero upgrades which that's not very many so and you see like when you have 78 probes your minerals go up very fast but the idea is 
maybe he has an army to stop this. Uh, or maybe we didn't get the economy as quick. But this is the army that I didn't even need. I feel like using the observers was... It's almost like cheap. But... The summaries there are... Adding more gates by 50 probes. Honestly, if you have a problem spending your money, I'd say go up to 8 gates at 40-something probes. Uh, maybe 40 or 45. And and as Protoss, I find myself checking that... Jimmy, I'm trying to talk... Yes, I know Archons are good. Everybody knows Archons are good, right? They know Archons. <sighs> Moving on. What are we at? 46? So under that 50 mark. Um, he was at 76. But once again, quality over quantity. Just the focus on upgrades and eventually... Uh, I think a lot of players are very scared to take a third. Especially take a third at their third. I, I, a solid half of your lower Meta League players will say... Well, look at this here. This is a good spot for my third base. Uh, because they're scared to defend multiple bases. You gotta get, like, that's, you just gotta do it. Alright? You gotta take a risk. You gotta go out. There's a reason why maps are the, designed the way they are. It's because, at a competitive level, there's a certain distance your third base can be from your main and your natural where it's considered viable. And if it's too far away, then at a competitive level, uh, the, the map is imbalanced. Like, usually that favors Zerg players, but it depends on the matchup exactly, just because you can't get to it. This is considered, like, Eternal Empire, this map, uh, is considered one of the most defensive, because you have a ramp here, uh, you have a ramp to your third, this is right outside your main, uh, it's one of the easiest to defend base. Get out there, uh, and get out there and take your third. That's what I'm trying to say. That was the end of the sentence. Um, does shield armor only apply when shields are up? Yes. Otherwise, there are no shields to be armored. And also, by the way, the reason why instead of... You might be like, why do you have first? Why does he have minus 340 MMR? Because that's probably one of his, like, his third placement match. He might have played other games. He seemed pretty solid, like a silver leader. But... um. Check out my five-minute thing on MMR if you're wondering, like, oh my god, I lost 100, or he lost 100. Well, that's because the system just doesn't know where you're supposed to be yet, and it fluctuates pretty wildly uh, in those early ones. Uh, so no subs for anyone. Um, what was I saying? But the reason you don't go shield upgrades, they're more expensive. Um, and many, impo many of your units that are actually going to be uh, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the enemy have significantly more HP than shields. Uh, like a Zealot has a 100 HP, but only 50 shields. So it only applies to half of its effective HP. Um, and also, shields come back. Armor doesn't. And some people might twist that into an argument that, like, well, you should make sure your shields don't go down. The thing is, that's, that's super unreliable, and it's very likely in many fights your shields will go down. The only time where you can really think about shield upgrades earlier uh, is if you're going for Sky Toss, and you're doing those Void Rays I already told you not to do. Sorry, Florencio. Um, or you're really heavy on the Archons, but... Void Rays to counter BCs. Stalkers, I know I say Stalkers are bad, but, uh, Stalkers are oh, fine to counter small amounts of battle cruisers, especially if they have upgrades. Stalkers do extra damage to armored units, and, of course... Battlecruisers have armor, uh, are armored. A lot of units have armor, but are not armored. There's a difference. Uh, armor is a basic stat, whereas armored is a uh, 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 classification. For example, a stalker is armored and mechanical, uh, which means anything that applies to those two things uh, will do additional or less damage. But it also has one base armor, which is unrelated. It's a little bit confusing, but there are only a handful of unit classification tags, 
and not too many units have serious modifiers for them. Some big standouts are Immortals. They do 50 damage a shot based to armored units like Stalkers and Roaches and Marauders and my heart. Uh, whereas they only do, I believe it's 20 damage to light units. So they do a... Pro Essentially, they kill a Marine and a Marauder in the same amount of shots. That is uh, part of it. So... Even, well, despite that, they're still a great unit against almost everything, partially because they're so survivable. If it takes out shields and damages HP, which armor upgrades apply? While the shields are being damaged, shield upgrades apply. If it takes out, and then once the HP is being hit, armor upgrades apply. Shields start with zero base armor. More overlords. Um, but, for example, zealots have plus one base armor, and then... But that does not apply to their shields. If they get a shield upgrade, the shield uh, shields will have plus one armor, and so, so will the zealot. The summary is, don't get shield upgrades first. <laughs> what do we have here? Protoss. Okay. How do I know which units are light and heavy? Well, light units will include any units with the light tag, like Zerglings and Zealots. It's pretty, like, there aren't that many units in the game, about 17 per race. They're a handful. And then heavy units include your mother. Otherwise, uh, there are no others because heavy is not a tag in the game. It's a little confusing. There are massive units, but uh, she didn't make the cut. So, massive units also have their own attributes. Massive units can break force field. They aren't affected by uh, movement slowing things, uh, whether it's force field or fungal. These include like ultralisks and thors and archons. Um, and what else? It used to be something around neural parasite. They're also very specific tags like heroic. And Don't worry about the specifics. But if you're wondering, like, I thought I had force fields there. It's probably because an Archon came busting through it with uh, approximately zero fucks to give. So. I'm going to make those Sig Zerglings to start. We're going to make two Queens. And I see he does not have an expansion. We're going to go to 25 drones. And then I'm going to make two Spine Crawlers on the low ground. Let's see what's up here. Never trust a Protoss. I'm just gonna put these overlords a, a little outside my base. He has a zealot, okay. And that zealot is very scared. That is another gate. And that's a whole bunch of pylons. He's playing they are billions apparently. Queen's all done, good choice. You engage the enemy. On purpose? Knowledge pop. Oh no, cannons! Nice. So, you know what that means? He just spent a full nexus on pylons and cannons. The answer is not how do I kill him, but. Oh, he can't attack me. How do I get more ahead? God damn it, Rifkin. This is why we can't have nice tweets. I'm gonna set my Zerglings at the natural. And now we're working up to 200 supply of Roach Hydra. Probably Roaches. It's very like, I don't care what he's doing anymore. Besides expanding... The, oh, he's expanding. Okay. So that also means he spent another 400 minerals. Another 400 on not trying to kill me. So, gonna get three drones in each gas. Gonna build some more drones. Gonna get a little bit of creep here. Honestly, you should probably get four or five queens to start. And then now, how many drones? 40 drones? Okay. At 40 drones, Evolution Chamber, and Roach Horn. Gonna get the 
lair in the main as well and now what's our number we're looking at 66 we're gonna execute order for 66 rounds I'm just building drones now. But as soon as that roach horn finishes, I'm using shift click to deselect two drones. Unrelated to the roach horn, by the way. Do we have a lair yet? Nope. I should have used my camera location to get there. So now I see a little bit of a supply block coming in. Let's move this over, Lord. Over here. I should have already now queen ready this is ca the kind of stuff I do reflexively uh, I apologize the reason I didn't get those spore crawlers at four minutes is because I kind of subconsciously was like not so sub subconsciously I was like well if he built all those cannons I don't need detection or anything that hits air and also when it comes to spore crawlers you want to jam them in the mineral line not around the mineral line because then what if they just come flying into the mineral line gases are we at 66 drones I need to start making some roaches I'm getting to the point where he could maybe attack so let's get that hydro range upgrade the speed upgrade is good but the range allows you to shoot over roaches more effectively and I don't plan on attacking for a little bit so I'll have time you know what I'm gonna queue up both upgrades mind out of that cluster and still in the game nice now we need some more I'm gonna control click these overlords to Mutation select all done. the eggs all right click to the corner for now anyway and now the overlords are gonna be chilling out in their you own little the overlord cluster, I don't know circle jerk over there Shift click some more more roaches don't forget creep spread Creep spread is good, but until you can keep those minerals under a thousand, you're all mined out of that mineral. Then field. creep spread is not a priority. I'd rather have a dozen more units than creep spread allowing me to see that a dozen more units would have been a great idea. That's an observer. Oh, that reminds me. Let's make a couple overseers. Your swarm is now bigger and broodier. A mix of about one to one for Roach Hydra is ideal, unless you see something that uh, you need to deal with. But one to one usually does it. So the way Inject works is it queues. It doesn't stack, it queues. So every time I inject a hatch, it says, well, when this first one's done, control one after select all army. After this first one's done, we'll do another. One. So you can, like, if you haven't injected for a while, then that will allow you to, I guess, catch up to an extent in your larva eventually. It goes up to about, your, the maximum is about 20 larvae on every hatchery. I'm going to, so, plus two is finishing soon. I'm about to get supply block. I got too many minerals. Let's get some more hatches. Make StarCraft two Brood War again. Where's the hatch hockey? There it is. Mm, get some more roaches. Select the army. Control one. So I have all the army I have right now on it. Yeah, let's bring them back. Let's get one more round of units. So this is very important to get the hang of. And will really help you out in the long run when it comes to not being married to the select army hockey. Well, first, first, I'm going to get a spine crawler in every base before I move out. Not a bunch of spines, just if he sends in a couple dark templars. Mutation now, finished. I'm selecting yeah. the larva. I'm going to hold down that H key for some more hydras. 
Control click, shift one, and ta-da! Now it's rallied in with the rest of my army. Speaking of the rest of my army, shift A, click. See on the other side. Oh, control, shift one, and then same deal. Mineral patch is gone. It's not coming back. Shift one. Your brood is under attack. Mind out of that cluster. Are we attacking? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, carapace upgrade. He's got, like we've seen, he has stalkers and zealots, which are not as good as roaches and hydras. Like, the, the, the strength of Protoss are, are those fancy units, like Colossi and Immortals and Archives. Um, when, when you're sticking, like, the entire attack. Now, it's more about more shit counters less shit. Uh, if he had a bunch of Colossi or that's about it, then maybe I would have to go for Corruptors. Um, I don't know if we stayed on there. I took some liberties on that one, but... Void rays? No, not void rays. And you see what I mean, my Protoss friends? This general vicinity, not the ideal location for a third. We went to 60. Ruined. But build up Roach Hydro. And there, I might have been able to do it quicker. Uh, maybe I didn't need to attack at that point. But a good, I, if you have no real what i recommend if you're like I, I literally just have no idea um when to attack i just don't know uh when you're maxed out is fine and like hopefully by the time you get around the diamond you'll have an idea like but if you if you literally have no idea what i recommend you go watch the game oh, from your opponent's expect you uh expected perspective you go back to the beginning and you watch what he's doing. Maybe times four speed. But just look at the supplies. Look at how many workers he has. Look at like when he's getting his stuff. And you're like, huh. So I could have attacked six minutes earlier and just kind of won. This is why I only play two games an hour. But I... <laughs> 61. I owe two to the people. Thank you, Smiler, for gifting to buy the book. Oh, you are now in my service. Got two more. I don't know where we're going to end up placing. Oh, you are now in my service. What's on? The summary is don't panic there. Like, I I do feel like, to an extent, I Angry Coach has oh, led me to think the service. worst of people. I shouldn't be aiming with this for the lowest common denominator. Maybe just a denominator. Because people can figure out. I know a lot of you, a lot of people, when I, I, I'm using me as a reference in other games sometimes. It's like, oh, now that I have some basic direction, I can put a little bit together all I need is a push in the right direction. Like, there there are three doors. There are four light, five light. I don't <clears throat> No. But I, but I literally don't know which direction to go, so I keep going in circles. We're just trying to get out of that. Well, we have some more Zerg versus Protoss. So, let's see if we can keep it on Remember, there. don't panic. Okay, maybe a little panic. It'll panic. Control three, right click. You know, I probably could commentate every action. Select, Overlord. I'm gonna rally from the egg down here so it already knows where it's gonna go. Now select hatchery, set up control, camera location, hotkeys. Build more drones. One more drone. 
And then this drone will rally down to build a hatchery. I'm moving a little. I don't know, like, some of the different consoles. By the way, this... You can get different consoles. If you go to the collections tab, you buy my announcer, and then you do anything else. Uh, but it's in the augments part. Uh, the console, your portrait, stuff like that. In case you want to deck it out and not look like one of those players who has, like, the 25 team game Terran wins portraits and thinks they're cool. We all know they're only a little cool. How many people have gotten your announcer pack? At least two. Myself and myself on another account. Speaking of which, we should be giving some of those away. Oh, you are now in my service. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Proxy Mal Cruiser Gift and DJ Shadow and Neko Q for the tier three. Oh, so I made the pool you are now right in after my the hatch. Service. At least three. Glad y'all enjoy. So, Zerg, I feel... Once again, we're in the low. I'm, I'm gonna assume a little better than I usually do of people, alright? And they can put some conclusions together. I've never been big on the hand-holding. Um, I've been more about the yelling and corporal punishment, but... He's expanding very early, so what are we going to do? Well, as a Zerg player, how do I kill him? No! I want another one of these hatcheries. What do you have there? A robotics facility. That indicates he already has a cybernetics core. So we're going to put this overlord up here. And she's disappointed. Build some more drones. Queens. I'm gonna build one more queen. Hotkey this queen on control two. We're gonna send the lings inside the base. I'm getting supply blocks, so we'll just build three ovies. We're gonna rally one here, shift, one click, one here, shift, click, one here. And now I have a you full spread. Does he have anything else in the main? No. So at 30 drones, I'm going to take my gases here. Let's get them. Thank you, Proxy Battle Gift right. into DJ Shadow. Didn't you just do that? What? Thanks, Twitch. Learn to sell out better. Let's get those injects. That robotics facility. Oh, it's not doing much. Can we right click? This is one of the things like I don't even realize, but after many years of experience, I've gotten pretty good at right at sh boxing three or so drones. That's why pro players, they're not just trying to raise their APM in the early game. Believe me, Cyril and Rainer don't need to do that. It doing the little box selects and stuff are actual warm up for when you might only have a split second to select a hand, like three drones and you don't want to misclick. He's got an immortal. This does not change much besides we're going to try to get uh, Hydra's quicker. He's got a pretty solid build going. Uh, we see just the fact he expanded and built an immortal. Now that I'm at 40 to 50 drones, honestly, 40 is fine for more gas. One of the huge mistakes I see of those Metal Queen's League Zergs out there Good choice. is getting gas and then saying, well, I got this gas and dot 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 like, <laughs> plus one I got another evo chamber because we're going to go for double upgrades because this is a big economic game I have 57 drones but now that my lair is finishing I'm going to build units so this overlord I'm sorry it's my reflex to like Brood. I, I um my eyes are so drawn to the minimap when I see anything happening. Yes, you do want to get in the habit of that. I'm going to get these spores, but like, and and no, I still don't have any tips for it. No so. morphin' there, my slimy friend. 
Get a little creep. I'm gonna get, because I have the minerals, a round of drones. Rally to this base. But we are in danger. What is this here? A robotics bay. That overlord is really paying off. But I'm gonna get some roaches actually Need to start start overlords. those hydra upgrades. Overlords finish. Shift click in some injects. Cancel burrow because I misclicked it before. Build a bunch more overlords. Control click. And over here they go. little more creep. I'm gonna send this overlord across. All done evolving. I'm gonna send those overlords out. So he's eventually gonna have Colossi. So I'm going to get a Spire. The Spire will eventually be for Corruptors, which have a mutation complete. Can be in the same control group as Roach Hydra and still do, do okay. This is kind of like a unit composition from... Wings of Liberty are heart of the swarm. Can't build there. But Your swarm is now bigger. And if he's rude. building Colossi, I can do go Roach Hydra Corruptor. I feel myself so Let's simmer down here. I'm gonna click on this stalker. No upgrades. A mineral field has been depleted. Let's get some more for me. I got Your a fourth base, evolved. another hatchery. As a general rule, if you have a thousand minerals and you run out of larva, put another hatch down. I don't care if it's in your main. We got 60 drones. Build another round of roaches. And we'll see what he's doing on the other side. Oh yeah, let's get some overseers. Just to make sure. You can you never be too careful. Work. How many guys is that one out of three? He's building a lot of stalkers. He's got some void rays in there. He's got all the units that sound that that you put on the Wings of Liberty box, essentially. It's like all oh, these Protoss units look really cool, and then the, on the box they're all spread out, and like the battles happening one on one between all the units. So not super realistic, but it it looks cool, doesn't it? Like evolution complete. Oh my god. Could you simmer down? So, I keep like my eyes are very drawn. I'm gonna try to try to suppress the instinct to constantly stare at the mini map, but it's an important instinct. But we're trying to simulate. Told you, void rays op. So you're like, see, this guy's going void rays. He probably knows what he's talking about. Is that the argument you're making, my friend? Based on what has happened in this game, of course. I'm gonna... Well, how many drones do we got? It's like, well, one guy made Void Rays. Therefore, Void Rays are good. Give it, let's give it a minute. I think if you can max out before 10 minutes, especially, like, you don't need to have four bases. You don't need to have plus two, plus two. If you have plus two attack or one, one, that's still okay. But, like, maxing out by 10 minutes. Max supply. I agree. Quantity over quality. Then out of that cluster. select still all in the game? army. Nice. Well, I'm gonna wait till the last unit's finished. Your brood's stronger now. And another important thing. So this is the thing you can do with Zerg. I want everybody to do this. General rule. General orders. Before you attack, build an infestation pit. If you've already built one, start a hive. All right. Let's all get together. So. A, A, quick, shift, A, A, A. Have fun over there. Get a spore. We're going to do some a mineral injects. And the, the infestation is pit is finishing. So we will get a high. Injects are pretty important. Got 69 drones. Finished. Nice. Yeah. 
You We're going to up that enemy. number a little. On purpose? And eh, build a queen down here. Get a little bit of creep spread started. Okay. The enemy Am I supposed is to give you back? Swarm. Are there DTs? Uh. I'm <laughs> So, while well, this guy did a pretty good job of building up units, he still didn't have much direction. He tried to build a little bit of everything. Um, we did 60 again. It's a disaster. One percent. But more shit counters less shit. If you can't figure out, like, you can't go in three different directions, like I mentioned. It's a, about which door you choose, which path you go down. Um. Zerg is hard is what I'm trying to say. Like, everybody knows Zerg is the hardest race to play. Like, you, you just have so much APM without even doing anything. Bronze Leaguers don't build more than two bases? Well, we're not trying to be Bronze Leaguers. We're trying to get out of bronze. And we're trying to do it with authority. So, I think what we need to add into the build for Zerg, and what I'm seeing is, like, we're going to need to get a few roaches early. Um, I'm relying too much. I'm going to actively, from this point, not scout. Uh, more than like right outside my base because I found myself constantly looking at what he was doing and that was distracting me from what I was doing and and while in the long run it's important to learn how to scout what's more important oh, is to focus you on yourself my service. Focus on what you're doing, and I, I am trying to. Uh, oh, you are now in my service. You need to get a handful of roaches early. That's the summary. Like you get about eight, ten roaches, and then you go up to seventy drones and max out, and and that leaves you a lot safer. You got four queens, you got ten roaches. You can defend the uh, zombie apocalypse pretty much. Not that that happens anymore because infested Terrans no longer exist. Rest in peace. Um, I have to pay respects to the infestor. But microbial shrill. <laughs> there was a game oh, recently. I forget. I think service. it was Scarlet. Scarlet was playing against Parting in like a super long sky toss game, where Parting had like twenty carriers and Scarlet had a whole bunch of uh, uh, hydras. And I was like, come on! And and also like fifteen infestors. And still. She didn't get microbial shroud. I'm like, this is, you're just doing this to spite people. It, it actually could have been useful. I'd be like, I'm what's... sure it'll be better this time. All right. So we will be playing Zerg all day because we're ruining this whole deal. She lost that game, if I remember right. She, she did not. You remember wrong. She lost the game where Parting did a cannon rush and then blinked his probe out of his base um, by pushing it out with a cannon over his wall. That's, yeah. So, you might be like, what? How do you do that? Don't. Don't. Don't do that. <laughs> Thank you, Aquin92, for 14 months. Oh, this hatchery is late. So, I do oh, think in order to execute a relatively high-level build and, and get to Masters, that's why, that's why the series is 100. 
APM to master. But um, 100 APM is right around that number of if you go lower than this, you are going to struggle. That's your some things are going to be missing, whether it's getting more drones, things like creep spread, overlord spread. Well, it doesn't matter what race, uh, because Zerg just has artificially slightly inflated APM. But that's why we focus on what am I doing scouting here? I'm gonna put this overlord right here. I don't care what he's doing. I'm gonna get a. As the pool's finishing, I'm gonna get a gas. And then. This is my. This is my. Best attempt at a. Literally don't scout and get out of bronze build. Alright. Pool finished. One gas. Building queens. Gonna mine the gas. And when the roach horn finishes, we're gonna build. Six roaches. And that will make us feel safe on the inside. Um, and be marginally safe against things like early zealots and adepts. Queen ready. Brenda's ready to rumble. I'm gonna get an overlord. There's no... So, one of the best ways, I think, to get used to injecting and uh, creep spreading and... Um, building overlords is when you do one, do the other. Ideally, uh, we're not do we're cutting out creeps here, but I'm gonna inject because my overlord finished. What I'm trying to say is like you inject, you look at your supply. Do you need overlords? No. Okay. Uh, you build overlords. Wait. Do I need injects? And vice versa. More gas. I'm gonna get another queen. Gonna get two queens out in front. And we're gonna go up to six roaches while still building drones. Not enough yet, but I'm sure you'll have more than enough later. Boss is das. Uh oh. Okay. So this is looks like our safety roaches are pulling somebody watched too much parting. I'm actually gonna build some Zerglings here. We need a lot of queens. Because queens take less damage to immortals. That's a nexus. I'm gonna right click on the immortal. gonna bring the spine crawlers more queens more overlords the spine crawler could actually hit the pylon which is pretty nice your brood is under attack so Immediately proven that the uh, early roach build works out okay. He even builds it. Somebody's been watching too much Florencio. All right. Uh, far too much. And we are bronze one. Fifty one. A lot of people are like, oh my god, he micro. That's so much APM. Actually, it's the Zerg macro when you're building 25 units at once. Still over. If 50 was the mark we're looking for. But it's the building 30 units at once, maxing out with 70 drones, that raises your APM in the later game as Zerg. And that's why it's just uh, difficult to keep under. But when you have, like, 12 units. But we did technically go over. So He's got... He almost nailed it. Looking at 69. But. We will stay true to it.
Everybody gets a sub. So I didn't scout. I built an expand. And then shield battery showed up on the front door. I can't give you, besides don't panic, I can't give you like a, this will solve everything all the time for all your cheeses. But, if you just don't panic and you have a safe, stable build, oh, it's not like it would have been the end of the world. My service. Um, if I hadn't gone ferocious. Like, in that case, more Zerglings, especially if he, when he builds a Nexus, but in that case, more Zerglings and Queens... Uh, and some spine crawlers as well, but queens are generally the answer. Like, if you see a robotics, queens don't take that much damage from immortals. I was saying, like, immortals do extra damage to armored units. Queens are not armored. So, that is a key point. Thank you to Fool Gifting to Waffle Man, and thank you to me, Gifting to GBeeb10. So, I am, am I literally the last point of bronze one? So technically, we start in bronze. <laughs> We're going to start at the very tippy top. Not again! Ah! The entirety of you bronze. Ah, one way or another. This is... Honestly, this is more like a cheese hour than it is educational content, but I'm trying, guys. <laughs> so much, sir! Not enough minerals. Okay, so first, in ZVZ, it's important that your first overlord sees whether or not he's making a bunch of zerglings. So I'm sending it across the map. And I'm still going to go, I'm going to use that roach build again. And I'm, I'll take this time to say, I know uh, Vibe does bronze to masters. I think his are pretty comprehensive. He does each race individually. Um, and honestly, I, I don't know exactly what builds he does. But I've seen a couple people comment. It's like, wow, isn't this Vibe? Well, both of us are... Grandmaster random players. He's he's a former pro player. So I think if we both do similar builds independently, that should help you verify, yeah, this actually really is what you should be doing. Um because it's what both of us think. And and of course before that, uh, even back to Heart of the Swarm, um I was doing basic low level builds. And the same principles, it, it's been 10 years of StarCraft 2. More shit still counters less shit. In fact, in Legacy of the Void, in this day and age, it is even more important than it was in Wings of Liberty and Heart of the Swarm, and even earlier in Legacy of the Void, to really just focus on getting a solid economy, putting a lot of units on the table. Don't, get, don't make a mistake. Um, at the pro level, there's still a lot of important strategic decision making, but at the lower levels... You can and will get further quicker by just focusing on building more stuff than your opponent. Uh, this is because of the the lack of effectiveness and aggressive builds against someone who's able to build up their economy. Like, you start with so many workers and all that. Uh, this overlord just... I don't even care if he's expanding. This overlord is literally... Oh, he's got several overlords. Um, but... At the end of the day, it's always been true. More shit counters less shit. Which is why I get so annoyed and, and when I see for you. all those people microing. Alright? You you even at my level, which on a good day, Grandmaster. Sometimes I catch myself microing with twelve hundred minerals and I'm like, choice. what am I doing with my career? Oh, looks like we got some Zerglings. We're going to build up. Let's go for... I'm feeling six roaches. All right. Spawn more Two overlords. more queens. I have overlords, right? Maybe not. Oh my god, I suck. We're going for more than six. No minerals for that. 
Okay, that queen ended up getting jammed into a nice location, so that's convenient. Your brood needs front. Overlook. You need more gas for that. My minerals will go into drones here. So we're gonna spend a little. Cause that's part of the reason to get the one gas so you don't accidentally overmake roaches. Uh like you don't need twelve roaches right now. You get too many roaches, you're gonna feel like you gotta attack with roaches. And not only is that gonna be not very useful, but um well, it might fail. There's no reason to fail when you could succeed in the long term. So, it is super important. Like, ZVZ, you gotta use the Overlords. You will die in Zerg versus Zerg. In most mirror matchups, if you don't get a basic idea. Even at the lower levels. So. I will get more roaches. We've already got 29 drones, which I almost guarantee you is more than he has. Not We're just staring, gas, but I'm sure you'll have more seeing if he moves. Later. I'm at, oh, should be 30 drowns to get that second gas. Control, click, just move away. We'll get the evolution chamber. I would usually do that on 40 drowns, but everything's a little cut because he obviously has a bunch of zerglings. Can I inject? As I inject, look and see if I need overlords. I do. So I'm just going to wait for larva, build a couple ovies, and get my lair. Come play some zombie survival? No, I'm not going to play Heroes of the Storm with you. That was a dead game joke, and it didn't come off very well. Also, I always wonder, like, people are like, I'm just gonna saunter into the stream and be like, come play some zombie survival. Um, I guess it's kind of a you miss 100% of the shots you don't take situation. It is more like, yes, you, you missed that shot, but now I know you as someone who just takes a bunch of random shots, making me less likely in the future, since you can't take any context clues about what's happening, to ever pay any attention to shots that are taken at a reasonable time. But that's a little too common. Get that hydra done. Mineral patch is gone, and it's not coming back. How many drones? 44? It's a good number for two base. But we're not going to two base anymore. What do we got over here? I'm gonna make this into an overseer. And that overseer, shift click through. What I need to look for, is he gonna have mutas? Oh, I'm making overlords, let's check to inject. Get hydra range, he's got a bunch of roaches, probably should get some roaches. Mineral field depleted. Put the rally point over here. With plus one attack, roaches are very effective against zerglings. What do we got in here? Oh, he's got a lot of the same stuff I do. Seems like a smart guy. He's going for the third. Oh, he has an overlord watching it. That's why. Did I ever get roach speed? We're not there yet. Control one on the select all army. All done evolved. You took all the minerals. You bring it down. You can run faster and stronger to your death. All right, let's get that plus two. Do I not have a camera location for this base? Okay. More vest queen ready. Brenda's ready to rumble. Let's go back home. No you reason to take all these risks here. On purpose. Evolution complete. Get a few overlords. You're all mined out of that man. We're gonna slap some injects in here. Brood under attack. He's got a whole lot of roach. We got plus two attack started. I'm gonna get Hydra speed. 
More gas. How many guys is that one out of three? Hopefully none. How many drones? That's not enough. 46 drones. So that's like my biggest rule of Angry Coach is 50 drones by 8 minutes. And you'll win 90% of your games. What a failure. He did build a lot of units early. Let's take a look. Does he have any upgrades? Plus one attack down there. We're going to adjust this rally point. You require more Vespine gas. Let's get to 60 drops. Okay. <sighs> 60 is a more reasonable number. You got He's no got ravages. Now, don't panic. Your swarm is now bigger and broodier. We're gonna fill in some roaches. Control click, shift, V, click, 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 click. Think same thing. Shift V. Cue those injects up. Your brood's stronger now. You We've got hand. plus two attack. Gonna start plus one carapace. So against Ravagers, like, while they do force some micro, it's not the end of the world, or it shouldn't be. All right, control one, one and strong. then A-click his base. I'm also gonna put the rally point at his base, so we'll just do that. The enemy is attacking your swarm. You guys, go over there. Go to his side. Your brood is under attack. Maybe some more roaches. You guys get on with those injects. Your swarms as big as they can get. Oh my. Oh, you know what I said? Infestation. Brood under attack. Panic Before time. an attack. Come on. That's the basics. And that way, in case the attack goes sideways, you have access to Hive, which isn't as huge in CVZ. Uh, didn't know you could inject more than once the at a time. It's Q. It's not stacking, but like you see, the inject pops off, and then another inject comes out. It's like, that doesn't seem to make sense. They're injecting at the same time. It's like, well. No, GG. <laughs> So, a summary, I, I, here's what I'm going to assume. Because he was probably microwing, which means he didn't have a maxed out army. And that means he didn't have more shit than me. What did we have? We had 62. He had 96. To be honest, he was playing like a gold or a platinum player there. Um, like, he was pretty solid. His build was a little scary for a bit. But, we'll see how, where those minerals end up. I know, I'm struggling with my minerals as well. As these fights happen... He's building some drone. And he, but he's really focusing on, like... Don't be looking for an opportunity to kill your opponent. Look for an opportunity to make yourself better. When you're ahead, get more ahead. More shit counters less shit. The the most total victory font is the victory that is won off the battlefield. Okay, I can't translate that. But uh, what I mean is... DM him something so beautiful, a line of po poetry, or or something of that nature, or fuck you, no skill, get good, and then you he will leave the game and so on and so forth. Anyways, so yeah, he has 37 drones. I don't know why I'm going so in depth on this one, but as we see, once again, more shit counters.
to the Silver Leagues. And we're upgrading to 60, but it didn't count for that game. We were still technically in bronze. I think, like, with Zerg, I think about extra 20 or 30. Not 20. About 20 extra happens just because of the nature of Zerg. And that's what makes it tough. Um, I keep saying that. I feel like a, a broken record at this point. And, I mean, who plays records besides hipsters and um, oh, those who don't know the internet? Service. Take all my dirt but it's about the idea. Money. While we're literally trying to be under that APM count, the idea is oh, there are so many people are over it. Like service. that last guy. He had 96. But how much did it help him? To be honest, his build was okay, but he got bogged down in microwing. That's two subs to the people. Thank you, Skeletor00, for 13 months. And we've ranked up, which means we're going to do Q&A. Q&A for three minutes. Let's go. Speed round. And don't worry. Anybody who says irrelevant or stupid things, I will just ban for the rest of the stream. Um... How do I sim city? I feel like when I'm playing Terran Protoss, my units constantly get stuck or place my buildings in a bad spot. Play three games. Well, watch one replay of a player you like. Uh, or a couple replays of a player you like. And then play three games against the very easy AI as whatever matchup. And place your buildings in the same place every time. You watch TY, you watch Neeb. His buildings are in the same place every time. Figure out where that place is. There's no, there's no skipping that part. Uh, Non-Thor counter to Thors. Is there one? Uh, but you did not specify race. I'm not going at all. Oh, you uh, are now in my service. You had pets? Ask your mom. Why are the Vanu the best faction in planet side? Ban that man. I played Toss, and at my level, lots of Zerg use Lurkers. I built Charizard oh, and Mortal Archon, and the Lurkers wrecked through it. Service. Uh, what would you suggest for beating those Lurkers? More Immortals, and make sure to bring Detection. So many times I see players like, I don't know how to beat Lurkers, and they lost oh, their Observer two seconds into the fight. In my service. Um, but also the you answer... You helped me get from high bronze to low diamond. Thank storm, you for kinds but of guides. most of it... Is, uh, a Warp Prism in their main with Charge Lots is actually the most direct. Uh, because Immortal Archon Charge Lot counters anything under, like, 15 Lurkers. But you put a Warp Prism in their main, force them to look another direction, and then they have to split their army. You don't want to get backed into a corner. But you can also go Stargate and get oh, things like you are not Carriers is the very late game option. And remember, Lurkers aren't cheap, so. A new Inject first or Spend Larva first after Inject Pop-Off? Uh, ideally, you wouldn't be choosing between the two, but usually Spend Larva. At what league does Winter, at what league does Early Harass with Reapers, Oracles, and etc. become important? Uh, Grandmaster. Tips for Terran in, in Silver 5? Wow. How'd you get there? I always find myself in getting into very late games. Uh, try attacking your opponent and maxing out before 14 minutes oh, instead of building more turrets than upgrades. Uh, do you play Desert Strike during off-stream time? No comment. Uh, Akamian, thank you for gifting to the people. In ZVC, how to decide if a Baneling Nest is needed or just go Roach? If your Platinum or below, um... A Banley Nest is not needed, just go Roach. Diamond Plus, I would say, uh, I if you see either they're not expanding early, um, or you're trying to... T Actually, you can just go Roach, even if they are. Like, a Banley Nest is almost never needed, but you have to be preparing to go Roach before. You can't, like, take a third base and be like, well, I hope for Roaches. You have to be on two base. So if you want to take a third, you'll probably need a Bandling Nest with speed. But if you go two base with a wall with two Evo Chambers and a Roach Horn, it can be okay. What's your least favorite upgrade for each race? What kind of question is that? Um, for for Terran, it is... Uh, what, what kind of question is that? I... <laughs> Haven't played since Brood War. Should I start now? You want me? You, you think if if the answer to that question is dependent on me saying yes or no, you're not gonna last long. All right. 
<laughs> Moving on. Onwards and upwards. Silver, 60 actions per minute. Oh, so, Silver is also a pretty wide range of players. There are some players who got placed in the Silver, but played 212 games against the AI or team games because they didn't have the wherewithal to actually play ranked ladder. And then you have the players who are wondering why they're still in Silver, despite failing at cannon rushing 80% uh, of the time, and saying, well, that one time I went Void Rays and it still didn't work, and then they're still there. Are you going to play silver the same, but just not give out free subs? What? Free subs will still be given out, but the APM cap is raised to 60, and if I exceed it, that it starts there. Uh, thank you, Spartacus2009. 47 months back, seat pro gamer. Very important to have here for 21 months. Aura's dead for three. I'm glad you enjoy I'm sure this so, one welcome be back to my Zerg runs to Masters, where we will play Zerg and only Zerg. Okay, I'll GLHF. Once again, I am playing random, but I'm not telling my race unless they ask. Because in my experience, random players below the Masters level are less than trustworthy at best. So... I don't want to unduly tilt the game by telling my race. And like I said, up until around Platinum at least, doesn't really matter. As long as you have a safe, solid, stable build, you can get through every matchup. It might be more ideal against Protoss or Zerg or whatever, but building Roaches and Hydras doesn't go out of style uh, where your opponent has half the supply of you. Well, the reason I know, well, this isn't the reason I know. It's because in the occasional times I've done the Bronze to Masters, uh, then I've experienced the random players. Whereas also, um, it's about once a month there's like a Reddit or forum post where uh, a player has all these suggestions on how to fix random. And it's such a serious issue. So the percentage of random players in most of the lower leagues is around 10%. Uh, in Masters, it's around like 10% of the total league. In Diamond, it's... Uh, not, no, in Diamond, it's also around 10%. In Masters, it's 5%. And there are 3 to 5 random players in Grandmaster, which is about 2 to 3%. So I mean, if you want to get technical. More Overlords, more happy zone. I forgot my Overlord. This game is hard. Pig is one of those random... I'm one of those random players. I just wasn't going to refer to myself in the third person. So there's no barracks at his base. What is this guy up to? We're going to send the six zerglings. I make six... Good I don't know. Make one more OV. Roachhorn's finishing. The lings are just going to go see. So, once again, the only scouting is, is he literally attacking me right now? Roachhorn is done. Fresh Get a couple queen. roaches. This is now my creep queen, but I'm not going to be too religious about the creeping. He's either AFK or proxy raxing. Does he float to the corner? All my keys are unbound. He's like, well, I left my keyboard in the shop. I don't. <laughs> All my keys are unbound. Uh, 
Did we? Okay. His keys were unbound. Which he found after he came back from picking up another beer from the fridge. Um, I assume. Because he didn't figure that out before the three and a half minute mark? Really? It took him three minutes to realize his hotkeys weren't working. Okay. Alright. Where's that guy when I'm playing? Alright. Here's playing. And now, here's you. This is a Venn diagram. You see the issue. Alright, Ryan, if that's your real name, and oftentimes it is, because you know you're in Bronze League Heroes when somebody, it's like, it's Bob versus Mark. What was the Bronze League Heroes? It, it was like, it was like Mark versus Bob or something. Welcome back to Bronze Apparently, League. we're literally just playing Zerg. Another game of StarCraft. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to do like a, a retake where I only play Protoss and Darren. Cause this is this is ridiculous. Like, how many times? Seven out of eight? Jesus Christ. Have I even played Terran yet? It's like, we're gonna make this easier on you. No Terran for you. I haven't actually played that many Terrans either. So, which is also a little odd because the lower leagues... So, from these eight games we've played thus far, anecdotally, everything's broken. Mm -mm -mm. All the Zergs are stuck in bronze slash silver. Well, I've said this, the big walls, I'll talk about this more during, in between games, but the big walls for Zerg are uh, essentially learning how to build Zerglings and then at Platinum. Uh, well, getting out of Silver and then Platinum, because Silver is like, oh, I know how to build units now. And then Platinum is like, oh, but I, I actually didn't. For a lot of players who are like, oh, you just build 30 Zerglings and profit. Uh, whereas gold is more of a wall for Terrans and Protoss because that's when the silver players who learned how to build 30 Zerglings are kind of making things difficult. So, that's not, not a joke. It's literally like, well, I never had to figure out where to put my buildings before. I usually like to put them in an aesthetically pleasing line in the back of my main. It's like, that's probably not the best place to put your first four supply depots you built before anything else. <laughs> Need more overlords. So I will say, this is my first time doing like a, a bronze to masters series since Angry Coach. Like it's been well over a year. I mean, Angry Coach was a thing at the time, but I've, I've Angry Coach now somewhere in the thousands of replays. Eh, probably about a thousand. Of course, not all of them make it. You might be like, there's not a thousand on YouTube. Well, the YouTube algorithm probably wouldn't be a huge fan of that. Um... But I have a lot more insight into the mistakes and tendencies of the aspiring gold leaguers. Queen's all done. Good choice. I think that's a good way to put it. Aspiring gold leaguers. So, are you going to expand? It's unclear. He's long distance. Might remember, you can go up to 24 workers on a base. You can. It's not the end of the world. And it's much better than long distance mining. Insufficient energy. So my lings are doing something, we're gonna ignore it. You engage the enemy. On purpose. We're gonna get six roaches. But then the number is red, Winter. Don't you know red is bad? Once again, we should have a yellow. 
You need more Yellow means, that. okay, slow down. Maybe think about another base. That way, like, that would be a lot easier as well. Like, if there was a yellow, that, that could easily be translated into, oh, I need to expand. And it would help out a lot of low-level players. Not enough gas. Like, the I'm red sure more than induces players. panic. But yellow's like, ooh, okay, we need to rethink our problems here. Am I am I wrong about this? Get some more. Wait, why are you building more roaches? Not more roaches. Okay, what do we got? We're gonna go to forty drones and then take three more gas. And I haven't seen anything. Spore crawlers, I'm late. Usually, like, 4.30 is fine, but this, we're not here for fine. We're looking for good. Get another gas. Get a lair. Rally this way. Evo chamber. Do an inject. How many drones? Since I built all those things, I do need to refill that drone count. Now we're gonna get these gases. Shift one, get on in there. Get some creep over there. Plus one attack. And now we're going to do a timing attack build. I'm going to get to 50 drones. All right. 49 and 50. Inject here. Get all this gas. A few more overlords. Clear is done. So now I'm going to transfer some of these drones. Camera location four. Queen ready. Brenda's ready to rumble. Get an overseer. You must and now we're gonna build roaches. More overlords. And the idea is as plus one and roach speed finish. I have a whole lot of roaches. I'm not gonna be maxed out. I mean I could wait a little while. But Shift V, click, click, click. The swarm is threatened. I was gonna build a bunch more Ovis. I see. Oh, mini stalkers. And now we gotta make sure I have the Hydra Den. The Hydra Den, like just in case, like every other Protoss player, he has a dozen void rays in his back pocket. I'm not super worried about that, but it's a possibility. So we're going to have this last round of roaches and then evolution complete. going to attack because plus one is about to be done. You I can start the plus two. Cluster, you thief. And we're going to let those last roaches pop out. Your Zerg have evolved. So before I attack, I'm going to move some drones over. Going to get the Hydra upgrades. Going to select our army control one. And then A, A, click, shift, A. Now I'm going to build some hydras. You need more gas for that. You're all mined out of that mineral field. And as I have some extra minerals, let's get some drowns. Brood under attack. Panic time. Just need to see void rays. No void rays. Okay. Infestation pit. Now, since this was a earlier timing, I'm not like I need to get an infestation. I'm not waiting till I maxed out. I was waiting uh, until plus one in speed. A timing attack. It, it's like uh, from the early years of Wings of Liberty when everybody said timing attack for everything. It's like, yeah, it's the timing you moved out. There, there's not an upgrade finishing. The there's not like a new fancy round attack. No. Your oh, there are the void rays. 
Let's get into that main base. So, hydro discs. And it's not coming back. Fourth base. What was he doing nine minutes long? On purpose? He wasn't building very many units. More shit counters, less shit. At the end of the day. Nine times out of ten. And at an increasing rate, the lower down you are. More more supply of army attack. counters less. Yes, if you run up a ramp into Colossi or cannons, cannons are units in and of themselves. Like, terrain counts for some. Um, splash damage counts for some. But, at the end of the day, if you're taking a relatively even Mutation fight, where, like, they don't have the hardest of counter units, or they have DTs and you don't have detection, speaking of, can we get those 50 drones back, please. So the Void Rays eventually killed all the roaches, but the roaches killed most of everything else. And yes, there's a chance he has another base out there. Uh, I'm not super worried about that. We will see. Get some of this gas. Like, if I go and I don't kill him again, then I have to worry about other bases. But Select all army. And then control one. So that way, if I have to build more units, they can be used. Well, I'm going to build more units, but they can be used as reinforcements. Now I'm going to get a high. Plus one carapace. And let's hotkey this hatch in. Build a round of drones there. Brood under attack. Panic. What do we have? Carriers. So, the Overseers are getting here. There were DTs involved. But, so, if he has three or four carriers, then I have that many Hydras. I'm just going to target down. By small. target down the Interceptors. Ideally, of course, uh, you can target down the carriers, but that requires Mike. So, we're trying to avoid that. Essentially... Now his mistake for you, Prota. I'm try. I'm desperately trying to find anything that isn't Zerg related. His mistake was he's like, well, I'm gonna build a bunch of gateway units and a Twilight Council, and also go carriers on two bases, and that's going a whole lot of different directions and going nowhere fast. Sixty. <clears throat> we used every little bit. <laughs> SC2 replay stats calculated fifty-eight. But... Because the stat isn't set, it's calculated independently. One action per second, on average. Slow down. It says less than 60. It also says we're not going to split hairs because that would take too much APM. It is more impressive to hit exactly 60. Ryan was under 50 APM. And see how that worked out for him. He had very little units. Um, just building void rays and praying might get you far. But more void rays will get you further. If I get Zerg again, I'm going to be very tilt. You got ah! One way or another. A random player. <laughs> oh my god. Like, what the fuck? I'm like, wait a second. Is this for someone? Is this, is this for my Christian StarCraft server? Wait. What the fuck? As much as I like Zerg players and they need help, Zerg is like a like a heroic challenge. Like I've mentioned, because just the actions of building anything take more APM for Zerg. APM that 
happens naturally. It's just because of the nature of the buildings. It's not like there's more thought going into it. But that is why it's very difficult to just hit that baseline. Try picking Zerg and see if we get something different. It's like Zerg is now on cooldown. You cannot place the Zerg units this time. Is random bug? No. My record is 11 games in a row. I think I got Protoss 11 games in a row one time. Uh, after playing many years of random. But going over five in a row. This is like seven in a row. I don't know when... I played a Protoss game in there. I don't know exactly where. But this is like eight out of nine, Zerg. This is ruining my fucking video. By the way... Because Terran players, and we all know the Terran players are the tryhards who are most likely to be super critical and think they know what they're talking about. They're going to be like, well, actually, you didn't play any Terran bronze games. Therefore, you cannot call this a all races bronze. To it's like, fuck off. Ugh. <sighs> You're going into more detail in this YouTube comment than you've ever gone into your damn build order. We both know it. Meanwhile, where's my roach one? So he's Zerg, by the way. He's a random player, but we're just gonna use the same build. I'm gonna eight click with the Zerglings. New queen. Randa's here, and she's disappointed. Yeah, it's like the video where I was originally trying to do a defending cheese video playing against viewers, and then like, of eight or nine viewers, three of them cheese me. It's like, I said they didn't have to, but... <laughs> it's like, guys! Guys, come on! Okay, he's got some Zerglings and a lair. So... Queens! More queens! More overlords. We are actually in a scenario where I'm gonna scout to see if he took a different base, but. More overlords, more happy zerg. So what is on the table? He's building a lair early. Mutas are an obvious choice. Another option, Nidus Worm. Less likely, because you just won't have that many units. Um there's also other things, but anything outside of that is just pretty terrible on one base. There's also the... Okay, so you see all those Zerglings on the minimap? So here's what we're going to do. You shall not pass. And yes, that was a quick reaction, but that's why we put the Overlord there. What is this? More Zerglings. And now we have... We can use those Evo Chambers for upgrades now, but... Back to basics. But that's my... That was essentially the panic button of... Oh! it's a lot of Zerglings you got there, my friend. I'm getting a lair. Zerglings do not cost gas. By the way. I mean, most people know that. What do we have? 35 to 40 drones, and I'm, I'm gonna get the gas a little earlier because we are up against that early lair. I'm adapting slightly to my opponent, only slightly. Like, like essentially, um, playing in silver is a, a little bit like making a pasta. And don't ever link this to Rainer because I don't know anything about making pasta. Like, Olive Garden. Anyways. So, like, you can substitute, like, the pasta sauce um, on your mastacholi. That sounds like a pasta. I might be making that up. But your pasta sauce, it can either have, like, 30% tomatoes or, like, 40% tomatoes. So, in this build, it usually has 30% uh, roaches and defense, but now we're going into 40%. Um, 
but you can't just like switch your moss to trolley with uh, some the swarm um, is threatened. ravioli because that's an entirely different thing like now we're doing something completely different so it's not the same thing and that is a spire which your also isn't the same thing more overlords please What I'm trying to say is if you're a Silver League at making pasta, or Silver League in StarCraft, don't take big risks. Mind out of that cluster. Also, are the pastas I described nice. actual pastas? Also an important question. My favorite pastas are of the copy flavor. Queen's all done. Good choice. So, he did build a spire, which means 40% Hydra tomatoes. Hatchery cooked up a fresh queen for you. I've got a bunch of queens. You gotta get some creep. I'm gonna have them all on a hotkey as well. Your precious drones are You're really no touch. Now. You on the other hand. So, he actually had a lot of drones going on there. Control clicking, the creep tumors. Gonna add some hydras into my control group. And, yes, more gas. 44 drones. We need more than that. I don't know what he's doing, but Your I'm, wor I'm focusing in. on the same thing as always. More shit. Countering less shit. Just need to make sure I have the drones to do it. Oh, you are now in my service. Let's bring these guys down. Thank you, Kybra. Gift into Zalrock. I'm going to get another More round of Hydras. Down. This kind of feels like a game to just go to 200 because I don't know if he's going to have the Mutas, if he's going to take a Muta risk. And now I have a thousand Minerals. Let's throw a Hatchery in there. Mother Spore. Another oh, round of drones. I, I'm really trying, like, sometimes my commentary slows down as I attempt to slow down my playing. And I'm trying not to let that happen. Because uh, I'm like, everything surrounding it. Control V, click, click, click. <clears throat> and so th there's a chance he went for like mutiling mainly. But. New queen. Randa's here. Which, in which case, you would want to have lurkers. Lurkers are quite good at dealing with the things. Oh yeah, I got another hatchery because I couldn't spend my money. How many drones? Your Let's get up to 60. What is with me in these low drone counts? I play all the zerk. Ah! Infestation pit. Okay. There's no reason. At this point, I've got everything else. Hello, Mutas. Control click Hydras. 
He target fired a queen. He had two groups of mutas. What a crazy guy. I'm going to split my units. It's like Jadong over here. Some Hydras are coming back. Spore crawlers are very good against mutas. They are very good against mutas. So, because they do extra damage to biological, they only hit up, and only one race has biological air units. So, they're, they're explicitly designed to help counter mutas. So I'm just going to work my way down from potential third. A click, a click, a click. Yes, night elves. Night elves have biological air units. That is correct. The answer we were looking for was night elves. Okay. The swarm is he has a lot of hydras. Mind out of that cluster. And still in the game. Nice. Okay. A click. You engage the enemy. On purpose? Brood under attack. Panic time. A mineral field has been depleted. Mutation complete. The enemy is attacking your swarm. Ah, Rud! Honestly, he did pretty well. It was like he was doing fine for the APM he had, um, which wasn't much more than mine. But then he tried to micro. Uh, and that's where it all went wrong. Multiple muta packs, like trying to do all these, anything that requires controlling your units. Um. He had the idea of, like, efficiency, and he built a decent amount of units, it's just... It, it's not how it pans out. I didn't skip. I restarted the mix accidentally. Um, and I don't know exactly where in the three-hour-long mix... How do you stop a Protoss who has mass Voidrays? Hydras, Marines, Widowmines, Archons, Phoenixes, Infestors, Queens, even Mutas to an extent. Corruptors are one of the only things that doesn't really counter Void Rays. I tried Infestors plus Queens plus Hydras and they just melted them. Yeah, the numbers are important. Let's go back to the Mastacholi sure rule. Oh my god, it's not Zerg. Um, you can't have, like, well, I had, like, eight queens and eight infestors and twelve hydras, and those twenty-eight void rays melted me. Oh, he's, he's Zerg. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna wall off the low ground. Take a big breath. Come on, Protoss players, I know. It's scary, but I'm gonna show you how. Okay. It's very easy. Three buildings can wall with a gap for one zealot. Okay, I'm not gonna scout. I'm not worried about that. Need more pylons or free up some supplies. 
first gateway. So almost every map you can wall like this, maybe at a different angle. I'm gonna put a cyber core over here, then one more gate. And you're good to go. Okay. But we'll see, we'll get there. Run boost. Should already got my gas. I have a build order out there somewhere in various forms. So I'm gonna scout, and essentially, if my probe is not killed by Zerglings, then it's fine. He's got a drone coming out. So we see he has a hatchery. If I get there, and he has a hatchery before one and a half minutes, I'm fine. Go home, little probe. You're done. Your work here is done. I'm gonna get a gate. Now I can do all these things. I built the pylon a little far back. You might be like, how do I know where to put the pylon? Play one game against a very easy AI, okay? Just, just the one. I'm gonna get... Oh my god, this does screw it up. Okay, so this, if you screw it up, you gotta adapt. I'm just gonna put the gate there, and no, I don't recommend... Oh my god, I'm so bad. I don't recommend getting a second gate. Well, okay, get the second gate this early. I've seen so many games where, like, we got this far, but then anything happened. More pylons, more power to you. Second pylon is building. So we're just gonna make sure... The idea is I'm forcing the Zergling... If I'm forced to do this, instead of just having it line across, um, then I want as small of a space for the Zerglings to get through. Like, they have to come in here. Anyways, learn how to wall up. Do as I say, not as I do. Why don't you check if he's proxy hatching? I was about to be like, because that would be a dumb build. With that said... You got a good point, Twitch chat. Where did the drone go? <laughs> because so for those who don't for a proxy hatch uh don't freak out don't panic that's the biggest mistake you can make i'm building a robo first by the way do not panic oh my god micro god on that drone uh, remind me to go back to this point i want to see how many minerals he has while he's microing that drone because he did a pretty good job of it Okay, how many workers? We're at 35. We're gonna get... Nope, don't go in the gas, you dumb probe. Hotkey the robo. I'm gonna queue up two observers and chrono boost. Build more probes. This is my builder probe on control two. Can't I mentioned that earlier, but I usually have a probe hotkey that will just build all my goodies. All right. I'm at 36 probes, so two more gas. You might be like, wow, what are these timings you're reading off? I'm making them up as Your I go along. But just getting a robo, getting... Mm, okay. Hold the door. I'm warping another adept and another one. The shall persevere. Do as I say, not as I do. So, <laughs> and this is why a lot of Protoss players hit a wall at silver or gold, usually gold, because you're not going to die off of this, is because they don't know how to wall off. That is a lot of roaches. What are we going to do? Twilight Council, Forge, I go up towards six gates, and I just... My builder probe is unemployed. I'm gonna get some stalkers and zealots. My second observer was supposed to stay near home here. Now this is a scenario where I could benefit a lot from having sentries and building pylons. Oh my, I, I'm sorry. We played Zerg for, what was it? Eight out of nine games. I forget how to play 
a real, I mean, uh, a different race. So what am I doing? Charge lot, Archon, Immortal. You must be okay. Upgrade. We got Chrono for you, and you, and you. I'm gonna get sent. I'm gonna get two sentries. Okay. Come on in. Yeah, because force field is good. You just gotta be careful it works for you and not your opponent. This was a pretty good timing by him. He put together a lot of units. That's Chrono Boost, Chrono Boost, Chrono Boost. Templar Archives. He killed one gate, but we'll warp in some more zealots. Shift click. I'm not using rapid fire intentionally because I don't think you need to learn how to use rapid fire at this level. I'll add on rapid fire hotkeys, which allows you to warp in and do other things very quickly. I'll add that at platinum. Um, but before that, I think it's more trouble than it's worth. Rono boost. Let's put this out here because I'm going to try to defend my third so this observer will go in a location where I can see if he's somewhere I don't have defended. Like say right here. I only have, oh, I was like, I, I thought I built six gates. Yeah, remember that time he killed a gate? You are now in my service. I remember. I remember. Thank you, bee monkey. He's going home. Upgrades. How many probes do I have? 55. I should have gone up to eight gates and beyond. 50 probes is when you ideally want to be going to eight gates. Give or take a little, but maybe more. If you know you have a tendency oh, to not spend, the, not to not do service. those warp ins. Maybe 10 gigs. Clayton. Now, let's get some of those probes over here to work. Some of these probes as well. Now, here's an important hotkey for all races, but especially for Terran, sometimes for Protoss. Out of worker hotkey is an F1. Control selects all of any sort of group you're trying to select. Control F1. All idle probes are now selected. And we'll go mine from this base. Let's mine some gas here. I see you, Mr. Changeling. Right click. I see you, Mr. Changeling. He's on a mission. <laughs> He's definitely microing that. So he did his build, and like, you gotta give him some credit. That was a uh, pretty decent. That would kill many probe tosses at this level, I think. And, well. My build wasn't ideal, but at the same time, just making sure to not panic, realizing that it's better to lose a gateway than lose the game. I'm a little scared of, like, maybe Nidus or something. I'm going to click how many upgrades. He's got zero, zero. So now we focus on maxing out. I'm getting two more Robos, because Immortals are very good units. I probably should have some more gates. An upgrade's been completed.
so we're getting about ready to move out. So I'm going to take a fourth base. Some players on this map will take it on the high ground part. Where did all these units go? Oh, that's a little scary. Hello. We're going to actually let him come on up. And wait for it. A clip. Guardian shield. We're gonna head out. More prism, go into phase mode. You took all the minerals from that cluster, you thief. Plus three. So. If he had a higher tech level of units, he'd probably be going like Stargate at this point. Uh, Storm is helpful, but not super necessary. It came down to I did scout that he was on he was gonna do that attack early. So focused on building a few more units. See how many minerals he had when he scouted with the drone? Like I said, he, he seemed like he, he was able to put things together. His APM had to be higher than 60. Did it have to? Fifty-four. Fifty-four of his was on that one drone. If he cut out the microing things, I'm I'm too lazy to go back to the drone. You know what? But the people, I made such a point of it at the time. My build was less than ideal, to say the least. Be between the wall and uh, like that's that's part of the reason why I just demonstrated. Oh my god! Well, we're doing using the professional overlay. Um, Jimmy, why do we have the WCS up? So let's go to the Elo cam. Honestly, he's not doing a terrible job of it. Doesn't make it a good idea. Just means uh, if he branched out like that, that's the type of player. He's if he keeps playing. And maybe focuses a little more on building the units than worrying about that, even though he's doing okay. He's going to get to gold and beyond. So. Speaking of gold and beyond... Is it time for our first Terran? Remember, don't panic. Okay, maybe a little panic. But the, is this the first time I've played Terran? Oh my god, how many hours has it been? It is, it's been almost two full uh, tiers between placements for our, like 13th game. No, I didn't start at the beginning of the stream. Okay. 
I'm debating whether I'm going to do a mech build or not. I think I'm going to do bio because that's what's described in my build order guide thing. I might do some mech later. Either way. Hey, click on this. I'm going to put two SCVs on him instead of just one. That will be my... You might actually be cannon rushing amount of SCVs. Okay. He's actually cannon rushing. Four SCVs kill a cannon before it starts. He does have a forge, obviously, as indicated by that cannon. Kill the probe, kill the problem. And now there's just kind of a pylon in my base. And... Okay. Guys, we got some sick Terran tips on that one. So here's another important fact. Here's another important fact. Like, let's just let's just say I went to get some hot pockets or something in the first minute of the game. Um, and I didn't notice. And the cannons are in my mineral line. Now the real key is that Terran buildings can fly. So even if he had somehow successfully cannon rushed my mineral line. I could have just left. And then you'd be like, well, couldn't he cannon rush another base? Yeah, but that costs money. Like, you should probably realize cannon rushing is happening by that point. Wait, did we stay? Yeah, of course, obviously. Don't cannon rush a Terran. I mean, yes, don't cannon rush a Terran. I'm trying to like give qu- no, don't do it. Your name isn't printf, has, or parting. Simmer down. It's a gold Protoss. Somebody said with authority, every gold Protoss- oh my god! We're back to- here we go again. We're back to Zerk! What is it now? It's like 10 out of 13 games? So, against Protoss, my second Overlord is gonna go at the natural. I'm gonna have to do, like, uh, an appendix for Terran and Protoss, especially Terran, where I just play them at this rate because like if we get to silver one with without a real Terran game and with only like two Protoss games I feel like I've actually kind of just skipped uh, those races like if we get out of silver without playing the other races because of random then I'm actually gonna have to go play each race individually this is the next game is kind of the last chance for that, because we're already silver two. Well, just build marines and, and immortals and archon, you're good. He's not cannon rush. Or if he is, he's taking his time. Take that, Twitch chat. You said every gold Protoss. Hashtag not all Protoss. We're going to build six lings to start. The, the Gauss Geyser. And also a Roach one. Alongside those queens. Roach one. Six lings. And then building drones for a while. He does not have an expansion. I'm gonna do a little fancy shift click back to the pervert pillar. A click the zerglings. And yes, there will be games where you could probably win 
by simply microing your first six Zerglings. But this ain't Brood War. It's an unreliable strategy at best, so. Okay, have fun with the Stalker. We will take a look at what his base is. He has a Twilight Council. He has uh, a Robo. And he has a real struggle. Okay, so that was mostly... Okay, so I don't really need roaches this second. It's probably going to be DTs. I mean... If it's not Cannon Rush, right? I'm gonna get a there. We're gonna get... Well, make sure I hit this Inject. And... I'm getting a little bit of a feeling because he had almost nothing else. And he didn't have cannons. Like, he actually didn't have the cannons, which is a little weird. Take these two gases here. I'm going to get a few roaches, just in case. I think he might have taken a Florencio Expo. Like, somewhere out there, I'm going to just shift, right-click, right-click, right-click. Same over here. I've got a little feeling. Oh, he's expanding on the low ground now, so maybe not. Get that Evo Chamber. Layer's almost done. First thing, Overseer. Because of that DT suspicion. Couple more Overlords. Couple more Roaches. Get that Inject. A few more Drones. And I'm going to take another base. Eh. We'll get Spores. Don't be dumb. As long as I have over 40 drones still here. Okay. I do for now. No more from there, slimy friend. Another round of drones. Okay. This overlord? Overseer. If after five minutes, like at five minutes, if you don't know what he's doing, should probably try to figure that out to an extent. Like at this point. Oh, wow. Do I have enough roaches? I actually don't. More gas. How many guys is that one? An Archon drop. He has charge as well. Those are DTs. We're gonna get spines here. Oh, I lost the spawning pool. That's important now. So that's not happening. Evolution. You must construct a spawn or overlord. Need to get some more spawns. You can go back to the main. I keep forgetting I lost my spawning pool. Did not expect this, to be honest. Alright. That is quite a dangerous build. He's doing some micro here. The longer he micros for, the better for me. He's gonna build an overseer. He's got a few zealots at home. I'm gonna keep this overseer on surveillance mode. So that way it doesn't get dragged around by hotkeys. Or the select all army hotkey. How many drones do we have? So, despite all that, he didn't really kill any drones, so... Some more overlords. Plus one attack is done. Let's get that plus two attack. Hydra speed. Your swarm is now bigger, and you require more Vespine. Gonna send this Overlord out here to look for, well, exactly this. And what he was doing earlier. He's got some Immortals. Well, one Immortal. 
one will soon be more immortals, I'm sure. Is that the warp prism? Indeed it is. So, I'm actually going to have to make sure not to use the select all army hockey here. Too liberally, at least. So, all these units I have here, okay. Any units reinforcing, I do not want them coming across the map. I'm going to send these guys across. Make sure we have a spore and a spine here, but also over 50 drums. is attacking your swarm. Spawn more overlords. Making sure the third is droned up. Some injects. You engage the enemy. On purpose? Gotta make sure we have the uh, overseers with the army. I don't know what the warp prism's been up to. Your mood is stronger now. You on the other hand. There's a lot going on in the base. The warp prism's off somewhere. Anyways. And send these guys across just the in case. Is the enemy is attacking ah. the storm. A mineral found it. has been depleted. But he's target fired on the bear. So the opener once again, like I'm seeing I'm actually a little impressed by some of the builds I'm seeing, but they could hit earlier and uh they could have more follow up of course, but that definitely took me off guard. That charge not Archon off on base. Nice, but not so nice. Ruined! 69 APM. <sighs> Means two subs to the people. Or, or we retcon it. Zerg, of course, with that APM inflation. <sighs> Slow down. Yeah, the Zealot Archon drop, that is a situation, even if I had lost my main, though, as long as I have my unit-producing structures, oh, you as long as you don't lose the drones, you're still going to have more. Uh, drones. I'm a genius. Uh, if they're doing a one base play, it's very like, let's look at the worker count. They're not going to have very many drones because they're Protoss. But if you can maintain 10 or more workers above your opponent, you're just going to have more money, which translates into more stuff, which translates into winning the game. Um, but Jimmy says, we haven't run an ad in a while. Like, you're in the middle of this. Well, this is going to be a whole lot of games. So uh, keep waiting, Terran players. We might find a game eventually. I'll be right back. Just one moment. If you could pause that block, that'd be awesome. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. All right, everyone, welcome back. I'm here to talk to you about all the exciting ways you can support this YouTube video. And even if it's not a YouTube video, you can eventually be on a YouTube video and start hearing the word YouTube video so many times, it's going to be very uncomfortable. You might be like, are there any other video sites? No, just YouTube video. So on this YouTube... If you like 
and you subscribe. So what I've noticed and what YouTube notices is on the longer videos, multi-hour long, uh, there's there's less of a rate of, of smashing that like button. That's because you probably fell asleep about five Zerk games ago. But if you didn't, if you could smash that like button, YouTube does care. If you ring the bell, you find more of this series, because believe it or not, I'm not going to go all the way from bronze to masters in one night. I probably won't be releasing all the videos on the same day. So if you want to see more, leave a comment. Should Terran be removed from the game? We're not sure. It may already have been at this rate. But what are your thoughts? What should I do? Is 60 APM too little? Too much? Uh, where are these players when I'm playing? Well, first, remember, you will have to play. All these things are important to consider, just like subscribing with Twitch Prime. Do you have Amazon Prime? Have you connected with it with Twitch? Why not? Find someone else's. Connect it with Twitch. Subscribe with Twitch Prime. It's free. Do it today. Thank you, and good night. Thank you guys for sticking around. Which of these three, what would the people like me to explain? I'll be right back a couple moments, but when I get back, I will spend some time more in-depth answering questions and explaining one of these things, and then maybe we'll continue removing Terran. I'll be right back. Just a few moments. If you skip ahead in the video, I hope I put an ad here. Be right back. One moment.
surprising. Upgrade timings. And welcome back. I'm sorry I was gone for those 30 seconds. All right. Upgrade timings. What does that even mean? So the summary is you want upgrades as quick as possible. But uh, upgrade timings, like, if you get them too early or you invest too much, then you don't have as much uh, gas is usually the limiting factor, not so much minerals. But ideally, as each race, you should, yeah, you should be trying to start at least one upgrade before, uh, we'll say the six-minute mark in bronze, silver, gold, maybe 530 in platinum and diamond. And that upgrade, for the most part, should be plus one attack for your main unit composition. Uh, there are some exceptions to the rule, but it's a rule. So if you're going for bio, then plus one infantry weapons or, or Terran bio. If you're going for Protoss in general, you got plus one ground weapons. Zerg, you're going for Roach Hydra, plus one ranged attack. Ideally, you start your upgrades maybe because I'm trying to tie. So instead of just telling you do this at this time, I try to tell people how to learn. Something about uh, if you if you give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. But if you teach a man to fish, you've cornered the teaching people the fish market, uh, and hopefully they come to you to teach other people, and you can monopolize it and drive up the price. So, if your opponent is not attacking you, you should be focusing on constantly getting upgrades. Like getting. Plus three upgrades by about 12 minutes as any race. Protoss has it a little easier because of Chrono Boost, but I see so many players really... I'm not really answering this question directly, and it's not a very direct question. But if you want a rule, start an upgrade by six minutes and always have an upgrade going unless you're literally dead uh, as any race. Um, if you have over 60 workers, try to have two upgrades going. But... You want to keep building them. The biggest mistakes are not so much the upgrade timings, but the gaps between upgrades. I think most of you build upgrades. Like, you'll build 1-1. One, one. But what we don't want, what we don't want, but we see all the time and exists for a reason and is one of the most common things, it's not that hard to get your first upgrades. But then, Jimmy, where are my memes? Okay, here we go. Essentially this. If you can stop this from happening, I think for every minute you shave off your upgrade timings, your win rate goes up like 5%. Just based off of that. Do you go plus one air weapons or gateway upgrade first? Well, if you're not building air units, you go for gateway upgrade. <clears throat> so, by six minutes, start your first one. By nine minutes, try to have uh, two upgrades, maybe going for three. And that's for all the races. We're talking like bronze, silver, gold, platinum here. And you, mi you might think something more specific is in order, but I'm just telling you, get as many as you can, um, as long as it's not at the expense of literally building units. So That's important to explain as well. Um, what that means for Terran, once you have three racks, a factory, and a starport, or maybe three factories and a starport, upgrades. For Zerg, you got 40 drones, you got your lair on the way, and you have a, a roach horn, upgrades. For Protoss, you've got your robo up, you've got, you've got three gates and a tech building, usually a robo, uh, and you've got your second base up and running, upgrades. Once you have basic production and a little bit of tech, perfect time for upgrades and that's usually between five and six minutes if you play Ling Bane Hydra probably still ranged attack upgrades you might see pro players going for melee upgrades that's because they actually use their banelings well it's better to rely on the Hydras than the Lings and banelings because now this is a very sad Oh, this is the guy who did that. Was he waiting for me? One way or another, you got this. Uh, but, what was I saying? Um, when Banelings attack, they die. It's, it's very sad, but very true. It's the circle of life. 
So against Protoss, uh, at the higher levels, you want to wall off the ramp. Well, leave a gap and wall off the ramp. This is to potentially lay down a shield battery to block an adept getting in, or adepts getting into your base. Because that'll ruin your whole day. Uh, but when I'm up against, well, here in the Metal Leagues, what do you think? Be honest with yourself. What are the chances are in the time it takes for an adept to shade up your ramp? You reacting and putting down a shield battery and then canceling it before it completes walling you into your base. Need more minerals. What are the chances? I fuck it up sometimes. Like pro players, all the time. Like one out of every four or five times uh, games people shade adepts in, I see pro players still screw it up. So it's an unreliable. PvP is a mess of a matchup in general. But. Oh, what am I doing? Putting two in gas. Like this is some pro gamer build and then sending another pro out. I should have already started the second gate. I was distracting myself with my own discourse. What should we do instead? Build units. Build units. Because if they're microwing adepts. So here's. I'm actually going to react to my opponent. Because in mere matchups, it requires the most direct response of any matchup. Let's get that second pile on. E. So I'm going to put two adepts in his base. I'm not going to spend all day microwing them. But if he takes an expansion, if he hadn't taken the expansion, probably wouldn't be going for it. But he took the expansion. Alright. I'm gonna get an expansion of my own. This probe is on the loose. We're just gonna get those two adepts. Now... I always feel like whenever I do any sort of early attack, it's like, there's so much opportunity to screw it up. There is. I trust you guys. If he hasn't walled off, and he's taking an expansion super early in Protoss versus Proton, then maybe get some adepts in his base. Need more pylons. Enemy is attacking the probes. How could you let this So I'm going to try one of these things. We're going to shade in. Or Shift, right click on the probes. What the hell is wrong with you, Adepts? See, this is why we don't micro these. Because apparently the Adepts get easily distracted. I already regret it. Immortal. He had a Twilight first. But... I want to make sure I have an immortal in case he comes walking across the map. More gate. Research finished, but I'm still. I'm gonna get two sentries here. So we will see. I'm getting an observer next. Why am I? Why am I playing Protoss so badly today? It's okay. It'll be fine. It's Protoss anyways. I mean, a little true. And going by my own wisdom, it's time for a forge. Wisdom. Wow, what a word. I'm gonna put some pylons on the edge of my base, just in case of shenanigans being afoot. Now I have over 10 probes here, so I'm gonna take two gases. This observer should go across. And now, since I don't know what he's doing, let's hallucinate a phoenix, CX. I'm just going to send it straight across. I'm going to get plus one before that six-minute mark. Get an adept. He has a forge and a robotics facility. 
And yes, actually scouting here is pretty important. He has plenty of probes and he's chrono boosting them. This is quite scary. He has an observer. He has a lot of stuff. I need a twilight. We're gonna go up to six gateways here. The one thing he won't have is um, the one thing he won't have is as many immortals. So let's hope he keeps building stalkers. Make sure this is all hot keyed. I've got 48 probes. I think it's time to go for another base. And Archons are great in every matchup, including PvP. Does he notice? Once again, the minimap awareness is... I don't have any tips for it, but I just... My eyes, after tens of thousands of games, I've been trained. Like, oh, there's something there. And uh, pro players are even faster than me when it comes to seeing something on the minimap and either reacting to it or at least noticing it. Cluster, you thief. He has some zealots with charge. I don't nearly have charge done yet, so... I can't really defend my base if he, if he uh, is adamant about taking it without Archons. That's not that many units. Um, I'm gonna cancel it. Okay. Apparently you can rebuild a Nexus through a force field. So... I'm just gonna build some Archons, and then see if I can E-move across the map. Is that all he has, is the question. Maybe. You said less than 60. Yes, less than 60, average APM. Warping in five Zealots in a second is already over 60. Nobody does that. Even you, my Silver League friends, you've hit 400, 500 APM before, I'm sure. Whether it's queuing up a bunch of probes, microing furiously one Reaper, or making 28 Zerglings. Come with me, Archon. Field Speaking of queuing up probes, let's do that now. He has one one done. Hello, here comes the neighborhood. How are you today? We're gonna click on the Nexus. Ah. Like I thought he had more than he was letting on. It was just, I really should have figured out where that army was. We're getting to, well he is gold, but we're getting to that gold league level of, it is important to at least not get caught completely out of position. Stop microing! What are you doing? What is it with me and Protoss right now? And just not only playing poorly, but forgetting what I'm doing. I've got Protoss Dementia, which happens when you warp in too many times. Are you even you when you recall? Nobody knows. Yes, playing Zerg has disabled my brain. So, I can't keep attacking with that unit count. That's just not enough units here. 
I needed more gateways earlier. Get more upgrades. What am I doing? We'll get a cannon in each base for Deets, the Desperation Templars. When did I build that cannon? Who built that cannon? <laughs> I don't remember building that cannon. You're all mined out of that one. Do I have a warp prism? I do. So when in doubt, build build a bunch more archons. That's did you build enough Archons? Probably not. There you go. Tutorial done. You require more Vespin gas. What I did stop doing was building Immortals as well. I should have built some more Immortals. So... Select all army, control one, and now we're gonna split off units. Right click, shift, oh, click the observer, control one. Right click, shift click another observer. One more round of zealots. I have so many archons, they're so thick. Thank you, B-Dub. I think I'm just gonna play one Terran game as Terran after this, because I'm... Okay, he has Colossi. A lot of people in mirror matchups think we're working on, like, a pick man system. So, we also saw some DTs in there, so... You must construct additional Let's get some extra robos. So that means... having detection is gonna be important. A lot of players feel like it's on the pick band system where it's like, well, he made Archon, so I gotta do something else, but that is not the case. Splitting off a couple zealots on the minimap towards potentially hidden bases. And then. Well, there's not a base here. That's awkward. Split off a couple more zealots. Am I? So, I don't need to just attack him. I will. I will be just attacking him, but eventually... Ah, there you go. So, we're going to use advanced tactics. He's going to come down here with his whole army, and now I'm going to move around this side while he's completely out of position. Alright. Because, of course, he's going to come down there with his whole army. What would you do? He's warping in Dark Templar. Could we move Archons? This has been the worst tutorial game. Warp in some more charge lots. This turned into one of the worst possible angles. Let's target the base. <sighs> I, I essentially cornered myself with an army that thrives on the open field, is what I did. Is he not going to kill that prism? How would he do that? <laughs> oh. I blame Zerg. I blame Zerg for this. You have engaged the enemy. You need more gas. We shall stand against the This has become an Archon Immortal Mana Battle game. Which isn't... That's... 
Don't, don't talk. I still killed a base, and that should be his only one, which is not a hundred percent. You've exhausted a best being gathered. Control F1 for all probes. One, two, three. Right click. One, two, three. And now we've split them off. How many Archons is that? A whole fuck ton of Archons. Let's get that plus one shields. <laughs> this is, I mean, you this is the, the this is the army I tell you to build. Mind out of that Let's just get a few zealots to Maximum complete the charge life. lot part of the charge lot archon. It's very pure. Archons are great units. They're just so thick. Did I forget detection? You took all the minerals from that cluster, you thief. Oh my god. How many games are lost because somebody didn't build detection? Oh, he definitely has that other base. There's a bunch of DTs in there. The DTs will probably die to the uh, slash. This guy is doing... Yeah, he's pretty good. He's pretty solid. Like, he made a reasonable amount of units, which was why. And also, I kind of shot myself in the foot multiple times. I knew I could do it. I got the immortal portrait. No! So close. I was supply block for two minutes. What a disaster. But he was also being pretty efficient. All right. Oh. One to the people. Still didn't learn about upgrade timings? What? What do you mean didn't learn about upgrade timings? I built my upgrade on time. I got plus three, oh, which is huge for the Archon. You are now in my service. So I block for like a minute. Yeah, yeah. I'm a disaster. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play one Terran game. I don't know what my Terran MMR will be, but I'll endeavor to keep it under 60 APM. And then we'll do a Q&A, because obviously my brain is shot at this point. But that was, ah, uh, that was a disaster. But hopefully you learned something, partially what not to do. But we, we've... Defended one can We played a total of two minutes of Terran in like three hours. So. How do you know you're averaging 60 APM? You eyeball it. I know what certain amounts of APM feel like when I'm playing. So I'm trying to keep it below that point. The APM counter in game is not helpful for that because uh, it registers instantaneous, not average APM. You had 61 over the limit you set. Oh, I did. Did we? Did I have 61? Did we establish that? Are we sure? I'm sure this one will be better. All right, Terrence. Hopefully we got a good one to wrap up day one. All the way to silver two. And I'm already late on my depot.
and and I'm after this I will do for those of you in Twitch chat who are looking to ask relevant and useful questions and those of you on YouTube for YouTube I don't say this with any authority not not authority but no guarantee but if you leave a comment with a reasonable question I'll I'll look out for them for Twitch chat same thing but much more chance of being answered and also higher chance of being banned if your question is exceedingly not dumb but intentionally less than productive there you go we found the words how do you know you're below 68 p.m. because I know what 68 no you know what you see I can't do this anymore I'm Jimmy throw them all out Get him out. Ready. Gotcha. What race was he? Taryn. Wow. With the two depot anymore. opener. Yep. Yeah. So we're getting some real high value Terran games tonight. CC upgraded. We're gonna that aim for 25. All right, we're going for ultimate slow ball. The boys killed it. Ready. When do you go for tech labs and reactors? As soon as possible. Usually a reactor and then a tech lab when it comes to the add-ons. I see a lot of lower level Terrans who uh, prefer to get that tech lab first. But if you only have four Marines to stim with, it might not be worth stimming at all. That's what I have to say to that. This is okay, like, I can't even talk. Your command center better than ever. I don't want to have to reselect these, so I'm just building all the workers at once. Moving camera does not count as APM because you didn't do any action. going SCV. The world may never know. More supply depots. Oh no. He's got a sensor tower. Welcome back to Brunswick! Yeah.
I bet he's doing the same build. Nuclear winter is coming. Oh, the counter scan! The counter scan! I'm in the movie! Okay, let's embrace it. All the scan. <laughs> yep, it's the same as last time. You got no minerals. Good job keeping that money. Oh, uh, we're building battle cruisers. Yeah. So remember, we picked Terran instead of actually. This, the game may think that it's both of us, our first Terran game. I don't think that's true, though, because he's definitely played at least a couple games before. He's built a sensor tower. Upgrades finished up. You're all mined out of that mineral. Yeah, whatever. Research all
of that mineral field. Oh, you are now in my service. I can't select my starports because my battle cruisers are in the way. Can't land there. Some grains of dust. Maybe a zerg ring. I'm like tucking my arms in to reduce my APM. It doesn't even work, it's like you gotta streamline. Wait, did I get nuked? It might have happened. He scanned like 12 times. The first time it was battle cruisers, and then it was more battle cruisers, and now it's even more battle cruisers. What did you expect? Oh my god, nobody can figure out where to put their tech lab. Still battle cruisers. I have a strat. Here's what we're gonna do. Up. Oh. I was gonna move buildings on top of the battle cruisers so they're hard to see. I don't know how effective that will be. I'm gonna move the battle cruisers to the back corner. So the next scan, how many scans do you think? When he, when he scans and sees no battle cruisers, the look of terror, the scans of terror. Actually, I think like over here is better, like between the main and the nat, because like why would they be there? Not the very back. Oh my god, they're so fast! Stop! Everybody! Everybody just patrol here! Here's your pro tip on how to get them to stay in the- Ooh, it's beautiful! This is very valuable educational tips for everyone. We really did not get any Terran done today. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna get the counter scan going. Ready? All right, give me it. He only has one orbital, so. Mind out of that cluster. Where's my count? Nope. Okay. Hit me! Ah! 
He, he moved out of the scale. Did I get Yamato? Probably should. Oh, there's the scan. He didn't see the cruisers. That's one. Did he have the energy for more scans? I'll hit him back. He doesn't. He only has the one scan. And like a metric fuck ton of turrets. I have a, I have a plan. It's not a smart plan. I'm gonna jump all the battle cruisers in directly on top of the turrets and lay waste. I just need to make sure I can rebuild the fleet. So this is, it took, it don't, it took like two hours, but we finally got here to this stage. Float in buildings to soak down. That doesn't, that's not a thing. That doesn't work. He scanned. The battle cruisers still. Stealthy creatures. This one may have given everything away. Eleven starports online. Science officer, refinery to give me where did it all go? Vision of the enemy emplacements. No more gas up there. I'm sure it all went to a good cause. Helmsman, break orbit. We're moving out. I will rule this sector or see it burnt to ashes before me. Prepare to initiate shock and awe and tactical jump. Weapons officer, prepare the solar flare. Three, two, one. Jump! No survivors! So, that might not be the educational build order. But, it is a build.
32. Without the solar flare, we might have been under 25. But I'm going to take some questions. But first, I want people to understand. StarCraft, like, it's not about losing to Mass Battle Cruiser this game or next game or 50 games from now or 100 games from now. I lost 75 out of my first 100 games. It's about understanding this is something you want to get better at. This is something you want to improve at. It gives you a feeling of fulfillment because there are no other games out here, out in the world, like StarCraft 2. A 1v1 single-player RTS real-time strategy game. There's no one to blame. 50, 100, 150, 500 actions per minute. It doesn't matter. It comes down to you. And there's only one thing you can do to get better, and that's play the goddamn game. It's free, and you're going to lose. But what does kill you, hopefully eventually, will make you stronger. If you can't handle playing three games, like if you have the time and you can't play more than three games, you might not be cut out for it. If you don't, it's understandable. But there's no solution besides hitting that play button. Check out SC2 replay stats. Check out the training center. Watch some more of the guides if it makes you feel better. Go back in your games. Actually watch the goddamn replays and figure out the first three times your supply block. Or you weren't building workers. Or you forgot your upgrades. There's always something. So with that, go forth and plunder. Get your ladder points. At least get a little bit better. Thank you for watching. I'll now take questions. Why don't pro players use more Hellions versus Ling Bane? Because other units are better. Like Whittle Mines, Tanks. Um, that's most of it. Hellbats are just not as good. Maybe if you're going there. They require mech upgrades to be effective, whereas the other ones don't as much. Why do bio comps traditionally not contain ghosts? I mean, traditionally they do if the game goes on long enough, but ghosts are expensive, and they take different sets of micro. You, ghosts are too expensive to get early game unless they have a specific purpose. You like bru more Brood War, SC2, and Y? Also, give us Crab Dance. We already had Crab Dance, and also... Uh, I like SC2 more. Brood War... Well, I like playing SC2 more. I think Brood War is a lot of fun to watch, but... SC2 is a better spectator and participant uh, eSport. How you know you're averaging below 60 APM? Ban that man. I've had enough of this. Uh, will be a good build, build order on a two-base Chad Ray timing. Ban that man. How many BCs or too many BCs? Ban him as well. The other day you mentioned Cheryl shifts out, shifts out his abducts with vipers to maximize distance. That's actually something useful. Let's check that out. Um, I will now this isn't necessarily well, once again like this is maybe platinum or diamond is when you're worrying about your viper micro uh, what's the thing you think you should improve at the most I don't know you or me personally I ha I have issues with consistency and and getting to the lighter game uh, a lot of the time I'm really focused on a lot of mid game units like Welcome mid game like Marine Tank or uh, Hydra Bane or Immortal Archon and I deliberately put off going to the later game. So let me show you. Let's say I don't know. We got some vipers, of course. And then we also have for for sake of argument, we got uh, some Overseers. What do I mean by shift queuing? You can use, you check out my shift key guide or use the shift command in the chat. Let's say um, there's some Colossi, right? Like, so Sarah will put the Colossi and then shift back. So that way, as soon as the abduct is complete, Let 
once the vipers abduct, they're like, I'm out of here. So minimize their time in dangerous range. That's that's basic enough. What should I do versus Rush Sky Toss as Zerg? It's kind of tough, but um, Hydra, Corruptor, Queen, and plenty of Spore Crawlers. It, it is tough if they get mass Sky Toss, but if they only have Sky Toss and they don't have Storm, Hydras and Corruptors are fine. It's the Storm that's the kicker, but rarely uh, up until Masters do they do it all well. Which upgrade for each race do you think you've gotten the least? Conveniently, we have all the upgrades up here. So, uh, let's see. For Protoss, probably Observer Speed. I've gotten DT Blink, mostly for memes, but I've gotten Observer Speed less. I should probably get it more often. Um, for Terran? Corvid Reactor, recently. Um... Corvid, Re well, yeah, Corvid Reactor, the energy, starting energy for Ravens, they're, it, mass Ravens have been out of style for a couple years, just because they can't do infinite amounts of damage, and then for Zerg, you see, you, <laughs> microbial shroud, but besides that, <laughs> Uh, it's on. Uh, mm, mm, I don't know. The rest are pretty even. Like, there's not a significant. Probably the ultra upgrades, because I rarely go ultras, but. What do you do against well micro disruptors? Split your army. Might be like, but he microed well and I didn't split. It's like, well. If you're running up a ramp and he fires disruptor shots without you knowing, well. That's kind of what disruptors, disruptors are designed for. So. Does armor upgrade for bio affect much versus toss? It, it does. Uh, it definitely helps against, especially if they're going like heavy charge lot archon. Um, but it's not as important as your weapons. How do you counter mass tanks? Uh, immortal archon. Um, immortal archon charge lot with good upgrades. Vipers and Broodlords and to an extent Lurkers. Roach Hydra Viper is fine. And air control or more tanks. Is it important to get faster with higher leagues or are you becoming faster naturally by being better? APM is a symptom, not the cause. You have a higher APM if you are naturally improving. If someone has 174 APM in silver, that doesn't mean they're going to be moving up to gold soon. That means they're just particularly inefficient. So, it's a, I mean, when, when you're improving, you're focusing on improvement. Uh, you shouldn't be doing, like, a proxy racks or a six-pool build, which would be impressive because you can't even do that. A 12-pool rack, a 12 pool build. What year is it? Oh, Winter's losing it. I don't... <laughs> uh, a 12-pool build or, like, uh, a cannon rush. You should do builds that force you to play defensive until you get at least to, like, 150-plus supply. Because those things will force you to split your attention potentially to other areas. And when you get good at that, your APM naturally goes up. Do you choose your build before the game even starts? I choose, I mean, I have a set of builds for each matchup. Um, personally, that I choose. Like two or three, usually, for the nine matchups. But um, you should at least have an idea. You should have the basics of a game plan going into whatever matchup you're going into and you can adjust it but if ideally you have your game plan so you can come back to it it's like a lighthouse okay you know that's where i want to be even if you drift off course and start drowning in panic uh you see the lighthouse you're like oh yeah immortals and archons that's what it boils down to yeah, the pre the training center with SE2 replay stats, like I mentioned before. Um, actually, let's let's bring that up. Let me bring up the training center for. Can I bring it up specifically for this account? We'll see. But the SE2 replay stats training center is free for two replays a day, and uh, 
if you have an elite account, which is five bucks a month, then it is free overall. Yeah, here you go. This also includes, um, this also includes the games that. that I played with, say, chopsticks and all of that. But let's go ahead. And that, like, I want to get, I want to get to what? Gold. So this is comparing me with gold players. And just basics are crunching the numbers here. Make sure you're building units, spending resources. Uh, let's let's get a specific game. That last Protoss game was a mess for me. Let's see what the training center says. Make sure you're building units out of your production facilities, spending resources, and work on keeping supply block time down. <laughs> and in the first one to four minutes as well. Spending gas is Terran, Zerg, Terran, and Protoss. Yeah, spend your gas. Too many out of workers. Oh, come on. Oh, I knew it was bad, but... <laughs> Level four to eight. Building units and spending resources. And then later game... So, how does it come up with this? Because tens of thousands of games are uploaded uh, every day or two. There are plenty of players of your level. There are a whole bunch in bronze, silver, gold, platinum. It compares you with them. At this game, the average gold leaguer had less idle workers than I did, which... <coughs> which... Wow. <coughs> oh, God damn. I'm sorry, I'm choking on my own incompetence. But you see the parts where I'm doing well. Uh, it's just telling me what I did poorly. But now I see, you look at the data points. Workers produced, average gold leaguer is 12. I produced 28. You can also look at those things and be like, all right. <coughs> That's a big improvement. But uh, you like stats? You're pro if you made it this far, uh, you're probably someone who likes stats. And also out of StarCraft, uh, when it comes to breaking down the game, not the Protoss. So, if, if you need something to help guide you besides just, Winter, give me good Void Ray build, because I literally can't come up with anything more original than spamming things about Void Rays for three hours straight. Well then, maybe that'll be something to distract you for a few minutes. What do you prefer, a hatch gas pool or a gas pool hatch? I usually go hatch gas pool. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Could you show me a standard Zerg ga build? Well, lucky for you, we did about 10 Zerg games tonight. When's a good time to push out his Terran after 111? That is an incredibly general question. It depends on what flavor of 111 you're doing and if your opponent is expanding. Usually after you get your first starport unit, if you're going to push out early. Is gas count a good indicator of when to get tech? Uh, if I get a robo and it is, is it fine to get a twilight if I have the gas? What that means is your robo is either late or your gas was early. You having a weird amount of gas is not like, oh, I should do this. It's a, I should figure out why I have so much gas and fix it next time. Should Mutalis ever be plan number one? No. If I'm going 111 bow turn, should I go for a third CC before adding more racks? Probably not. Probably not. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, most Terrans will go three, three up to three bar barracks, a factory, a starport, start all their production up, and then get a third command center. Unless you're like masters and working on three CC builds, I wouldn't recommend it. So the summary today. More stuff, more shit. Counters, less shit. We knew that. Um, Terran doesn't exist. We assume that. I will probably... Terran players who watched until the end expecting anything more than a defended cannon rush and whatever that other Terran game was, well, I'm sorry. Maybe we'll do like a half dozen Terran games at some point in bronze. Um, but you can check out the basic Terran build... Now, Terran has it relatively easy. I think Terran players... Terran is the race who can have the most rigid build order 
in all three matchups. In bronze, silver, gold. Uh, they can do the 1-1-1 into marine tank that I detail in my build order guide well through gold. Uh, whereas Zerg and Protoss do have to make some adjustments in order to not die horribly to certain things. Um, but with that, that will conclude day one of less than, well, I, I'm trying to figure out a way that doesn't take up the entire YouTube title to clickbait this, but less than 100 APM to Masters, yes, but also 50 APM in Bronze, 60 in Silver. We'll figure it out. I'll figure something out. Um, but thank you for clicking on it. And uh, like and subscribe and all those things if you made it this far. Uh, and you're not asleep. And look forward to the next one. Where we go from Silver 2 to wherever we end up. Uh, and maybe play Terran. Thank you for watching. Good luck. Have fun.